Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? It's 5 o'clock, y'all know what it is. It's 3 P's in a podcast. We do what we do. You know what I'm saying? We're a little bit behind time. Just a little bit, minute, 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 minute. But we are live. We are live. We are on. And now, let's activate these cameras and get it cracking. Yo, what's up with it, man? How y'all doing in our world? What's going on? What's up with it? We got Miss Mystique with us. We got Miss Megan Wade J with us. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it popping right now, man. And we're going to get straight into it. It's been a weird little week. Um, how y'all doing? Maintenance is important, especially for a, a vehicle of my uh, efficiency. <laughs> oh, Lord, man. I got issues. <laughs> you is funny, man. I had to have my codes checked. <laughs> oh, I know that. Time. Girl. You had to have your codes checked. Yeah, yes, funny. Sir. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, man. So That's why I'm running right, you know? Mm-hmm. You got to do that. With yourself, your actual vehicles, everything. Yeah, but we won't, we won't get into that. Go ahead. Miss Megan, it's how you going? I am all right. I'm trying to get, you know, in my zone. I'm always ready. But, um, right. you know, ready. people try to mess with your mind and mess with you a little bit. But I'm, not, I'm in here. You know me. I don't be having like a motion. Hey, she said she got that, that wall up right by. What's with up? That, and we got that. the burner right here. I don't know if we're going to do it on air, but on this I'm net. ready. What I've been seeing online, she we ready. can do that. Hey, look, man, we is that ready. smoke I, screen I, film. I, say it one time with me. Tell, say it one more time with me. Smoke we are screen at smoke film. screen films, man. <laughs> this is my studio. I am smoking, man. I ain't even going to. Stop it's, this sugar. Uh, <laughs> like oh, smoke. Scream. Uh, we can, we can, we can, hey, a in a new environment, we can do what we want to do, man. This is this is the home front, man. We could do a uh, blunt at the blunt at the blunt at the blunt, as long as we want to keep the conversation going. So, you, what oh, you really? smoking on, man? I don't know some dispensary stuff, but that's where my stuff comes from all the time. Dispensary? I'm dispensary, straight Michigan. No, you know what it is? It's Cupid. Cupid. It's Cupid? Cupid runs. Cupid runs. Like psh, Cupid Valentine's Day. Cupid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping the love. Cupid flowing. runs. Cupid runs. It will be sitting for six days straight. Ooh wee. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, we grown. I don't even remember what this is, but this. Uh, oh, it was some snowball. Oh, I know so I, um, there's a little bit of snowball, some keef, some wax. Um, this right here is a little powerful blunt right here, man. This right here, I hope we don't get the giggles and the munchies that mess to show up, but well, we will. I mean, <laughs> on purpose, that accident, just because. Do that. That's how we do. Okay, things right. don't happen. So, with all how that, you doing? right, smoke. You ain't say how you, you doing. How you doing? Ah, uh, man. I am in my own environment again. I'm so used to working in other people's studios that I forgot how dope my studio was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it feels kind of weird that I can sit here and do everything that I was doing at the school at home, but I really forgot that I could do it. So, um, you know, with any type of toy or anything you're interested in you're going to play with it you're just going to you know it's just tinker 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 you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day i'm doing very well but i am kind of trying to force myself to get caught up because i don't want to lose the momentum that we have been putting together Amen. so Amen. um the transition from school to home having my life back some days I find myself vegging out on relaxation because I ain't used to it. And then if I spent 12 hours out of my day, you know, a little bit of Oculus, a little bit of chilling, a little bit of smoking, a little bit of surfing, Netflix and Max. I didn't even realize I had the app Max on my uh, TV all this time. And I'd have found a whole different. I've been watching Game of Thrones on there. See, I'm not a Game of Thrones person. I, mean, I miss I'm that wave. It back. I Girl, missed that wave. I'm throwing I don't find that. New mother I, I missed it too when it was going on, but I did like a binge back in the day when it was about to end, right? 
I'm going back, back, back. I'm watching. I'm like, oh, my God, I remember. I remember. All right. Now, give it to me. What do you take the concept? What is the concept of Game of Thrones? What is the meaning and what is the purpose? What's the premise? What's the setting? I mean, I've been confused. To me, it was kind of. Ah, I was waiting for the witches and the werewolves and the vampires. So it was so just like it, it is um the night walkers and stuff like that. It's different parts to the kingdom, like the north, south, east, west, it's about eight and then it's the West yeah. Ropes, baby. And then like so they have the overall king, but this guy, um, the Starks, they're right under the king. But it's a whole lot of stuff. The one that the king is married to, they got a whole lot of stuff. See, I'm starting back at the beginning. So we can do a whole little, you know, thing on it if you want to. But we could, we it's could. the interaction and the corruption, just like the politicians of today, but back in the time Same. when it was kings and queens. And you get to see not just from a person who is like, I don't know what that word would be, a subject to the king, like one a regular person, but you're seeing how they operated within the castles and with what they're fighting, the night walkers. So where did the night walkers come in? So in the north. They come from the north when the whole thing is winter is coming and it's like it could go for however many years it wants to. Like one time it went for like twenty seven years. So I think that's what happened. Yeah. I walked in on somebody watching it and it was the zombie type thing and i was like man they just didn't put a twist on the, the uh, walking dead type shit so i never got into it because when i walked in on somebody watching it i was like i'm not really into the zombie thing i watch it to be entertained if i'm at somebody's house and that's what they do but me being at the house like hey i'm about to watch some uh zombies chasing no, people and but I do watch scary movies but the reason why i watch this is because it's so much more than that that's like one percent out of no that's like 10 percent out of the whole situation this is like, of, like me, the twins like the kids. twins they got twins that the wife was married to the king but she's having sex with her brother and they pushed the second in command his son off of a building that's what i'm saying it's so all these families that are going against wolves. each other yep. they and got every wolves. family they has their dragons. own like little thing it's crazy once you get into it like it's a series that is worth watching it to me it does put together like the walking dead but like i said it's only 10 percent. it's more like and that's a, it's a different feel it ain't yeah. actually walking dead until you see the crowd when you see the uh, the when ice walkers with the king yeah. them dudes this what is it 12 seven of them it's them, them some cold looking brothers and, and they, they don't look the zombie -ish. you get in like man it's deep. lord of the rings you get in you get like, magic you get in you get in everything really. supernatural a whole lot of sex Oh, oh, man. Man. Ah, everybody bang bro. The name ah, she is so there's gay lady. sex on this as well it's yes every kind of sex yes pretty much but guess what the uh, kings, Peter hello? Dinklage, he's uh he, he's, the, Abby, he's the queen's brother he get more than a little bit <laughs> he get all of, look matter of <laughs> fact in the very first episode the they came to town to pay respects to the second in command sister the king really wanted to marry her but he married somebody else right so they looking for the imp. everybody's like where's the imp the imp don't like being called a imp go to the whole house he gets slobbed up by a prostitute that's his favorite one and a handsome brother that's also smashing his twin sister, sister. he comes in and he said okay we gotta be here for dinner and da 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 time is winding but up but peep wasn't little dude they baby didn't they? oh the son the, the one who inherited the throne was the yes baby. and he's a vicious somebody somebody already at like 12. so this is the reason why people it's are entertained deep. because it's so much drama in it's real life it just got a sprinkle of fantasy, the fantasy yeah. land yeah but it's very it's telling gory. You, like back when the kings and, when it was kings and queens and like Normandy and stuff, but like these people are fighting like Vikings to protect the border. Okay. They got people because like back in the day there was like the Pharisees. At one point they're gonna have somebody telling like the future and stuff. They keep going back to her, and she ends up killing people. And people is all connected. It's so many it's connections. Weird. It's some you got to watch stuff. it because like you said, if you walk in on it, you'll be low. I you'll be like, what? That Walking Dead does get you because I don't mess with the Walking Dead You at know all. what pulled me in to make me go back? The so dragons. Man, don't it? And the dragons. Can, no, I'm not even gonna lie. When Khalees, like the whole thing is interesting, but when she finally gave herself mm. 
to um Aquaman, what's his name? Yeah, Jason Momoa. When, when he was the horse king. Gave in and was like, this dude can help me for real. I'm going to really rock with Cause him. Because his people were down she, to get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the, the, the Frankie, what they call? Don't mess with them. What are they call? Uh, the Draconians. <laughs> Something like that, yeah, yeah. yeah but they, they don't. But her play. brother, nice her brother, going. He's he's married her off to get their land back because it's stolen. Whatever. He said, "I'll let the whole army smash you, just to get what I want." Okay, yeah, so crazy. she gets him killed off, and she really started messing with Jason Momoa. And when they smash, he's a barbarian. <laughs> They're barbarians. When I tell you, I knew it was about to go down, and it did. She came with like an army of ten thousand. You gotta get hit. You gotta get hit. Man, but, gotta it, get it actually, hit. most of the like most of it is us following her Daenerys' story. Yeah, because Daenerys, she get army from to, army yes. from army and come walking through the whole set like I want it all. Yeah, if somebody's but to it's take rightfully it. hers anyway. And she had to, but they stole it from her. Shoes. And her brother wanted it, man. When she got him, but she's sleeping with her brother. That's no. the one who's sleeping with her brother. No, that's the other queen. See, I'm tripping. Yeah, you gonna make that's me have to watch other, this but That's stuff. what I'm saying. Let's have a watch. Hey, y'all, that's look, man. Have a watch. We, they used to have watch. If y'all like, watch Game of Thrones, please fill me in on Facebook. If y'all watch Game of Thrones, is it worth catching up on or man. not? Yes or man. no? If it's you're watching the podcast, you listen to the podcast. Give me a. Hey, let go. Hey, you got two A's already. <laughs> so, um, what y'all been looking like on y'all timeline? What y'all been doing, man? What what y'all Facebook and then Instagram and stuff looking like? My timeline been a little bit uh, well, how would I how would I call it? It's been this last week. I've been getting a little bit of uh. President in them red shoes. Y'all seen the president in the red shoes? No. Bill Clinton? Wait a minute. He got these favorite red shoes. shoes. They kind of look like they running shoes, but they red. Um, They keep posting him in these shoes. So it's something about these shoes. But when he got these shoes on, dude be so lost. You ever played like a, a game like the Sims or something and how the how the person be walking around and he'd get stuck somewhere yeah, and then yeah, he'd be like trying to walk to the wall and he'd get stuck. Yeah. They got Bill on the street corner looking at this building like like a see look like a sim. Like he really they was trying to make everything. He so literally was just looking in the building like should I go in there or should I not go in there? Should I go in there or should I not go in there? Oh. And then he started trying to stutter stuff to get his feet to work, but his feet wouldn't work. It was like oh and then he walked in the building and he looked so lost. And they got so many clips of that now where it's just like it, but to me, he always in these red shoes, man. man. He, they did not do it. Oh yeah, that's 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 her spot she over there. Funny. So I was wondering if y'all seen that the, the red shoes at Bill Clinton. I don't know what it is, like I said, about the red shoes, but they keep posting him in nothing but these red shoes. So what y'all what y'all looking like on y'all timeline? Gosh, um, so much, so much. Um always a little look, look at me don't look at me <laughs> my timeline stays boring you know me because i'm with the andre three because i'm with the three thousand in the flute game he's that album i've been telling you he gaining more and more ground it's it's crazy how how it's growing and that's what i'm saying i don't we're not gonna go into it but i got my mixed emotions about it i'm still on the train but i got my mixed emotions about it you know uh uh what else? Oh, Jonathan Majors uh getting ready for a new role, but anyway, y'all can't okay, hold it down. I told it? y'all it wasn't gonna happen, but you know. I went on ahead. Mean? I watched that last Aquaman uh-huh. and um it wasn't he supposed to be in that movie? He probably was supposed to be Mantis, I think. What so he was supposed to be Mantis and not Maybe the black that's guy that's weird, Mantis yeah. now. Um, I don't like that. That's not the same movie. He He's talking about Marvel. Oh, uh, he's trying to mix it. He's yeah, about Marvel. You're mixing them together. Oh, you talking about he was supposed he, to play the role of was that Crank Kane? No, Kane. Yeah, Kane. Or the the crazy. timeline. He was the timeline. I didn't got lost, man. I I promise you. When people when they have too many superhero roles, I be forgetting which movie. Well, which I scene, do, like I do know that Aquaman is DC, and that Batman is Superman. Is the letter. 
uh, Jonathan Majors had contracts with Marvel. With which Marvel. He, he do got two movies. I think it was the second movie or the third movie this that they cut the him short movie. from. The second one. Mm-hmm. They he cut him short. He was getting ready to do the big role on it and, and all they cut stuff it. Like, no. But okay. they knew they was going to cut it. That's the whole the thing. Because the third, I think, was Kane. Yeah, so. <laughs> I hope he, I hope he recovers, to be honest. He's coming. I'm not finding let, let me not talk you that, but then I feel it. Well, it's a certain code you stick to as long as you're doing it. I'm going to tell you what it is, and I'm going to tell my kids, the main thing you don't want to do is you do not want to I don't want to, I don't want to disturb you guys. Yes, you said don't do the WWE. <laughs> The microphone. I thought I was. Oh, you need more love. I apologize, than but as a black man, the first advice I will give you is, do not, do not seek the treasure. <laughs> like not, in the Green Mile. It's a. It's do not seek the treasure. It's not supposed to be that way. Person. But the way society uh, is, there's more success. Families than they portray. I mean, they only give you the farthest left of the spectrum and the farthest right of the spectrum. If it's just okay, they don't tell you nothing like that on television because it's not newsworthy. Right. But there's a lot of black and white couples that get along well. There's yes. there's white women that yes. are not like Karens. Right. But then you have those who are secret carers. You right. have those that only deal with the black male for curiosity and to say they did it to make their dad mad. So you do have those situations, but I'm a firm believer that there are women of other races that you can deal with that's not go care enough. Right. Yes. That's very okay, true. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I get what you say. Because I come from a family where the majority of the males in my family have white wives, white, and they're, they're, they're thriving. They're okay. They're, they're, but then you see those other situations where the white girl beat herself up and then called domestic violence. Sinner. I mean, then you got the situation where. And they shady, but shady comes in all colors, like you say. Do, you can't yeah. just say it's one. So yeah, I feel you. It comes in all colors. It does. But I, mean, I think that one. Though, I'm from the seventies. You know, back then they said if she <laughs> can't use my comb, don't bring her home. So I, I didn't if she heard. Can't it. use my comb. Don't, don't bring her home. Why you have to think about it that way? I want to now. Because we don't use each other's comb now. I'm just saying, right? Like, what, I'm gonna what, be quiet because I do hair uh, <laughs> and we clean behind everything, and I understand. I understand. I'm gonna just be good. I'm not gonna. I, y'all know how I get when I start but, adding. I'm but when I it. look, but to be saying that though, when I got older, I realized that. Even if they did carry lice, our hair can't care. It won't connect to our hair anyway. And then I realized that. No, no, doing bug. your own research. I, there is but a I'm, way a bug is a bug. Hold on. What was you saying? You see? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I don't want to cut you out. But what I was saying was our hair has natural oil and the that insect can't grab because it has it don't have the texture that it needs to be to use its grippy grips mm. so it really they say they just stuff. fall out mm. like so we are born with a lice deterrent mm-hmm. but <laughs> we could get those other things on hair on the other places and they call it calves. Stand on your adult shit then. <laughs> if you don't do it, do it. Don't do it like that. But, but I feel you. The argument is real. Beautician. This is beautician. <laughs> you are supposed to barbicide every color yeah, after every person. Anyway. Yeah. Because there's 
other infections it's or so skin many. diseases it's inside so of your head under your hair yes. that's not visible to the naked eye anyway yes now is psoriasis a disease or a um it's a disorder a skin it's disorder immune, yeah it's an immune skin disorder Okay, so you, and it's you just can't, like eczema. Like you not passing that on to somebody. I can't you I can't use your comb and get eczema. I can't use no. your comb and get and get psoriasis. No. no. But but I could use a comb and get what? If I oh, use somebody I else's that. dirty comb. Sand truth? No, no dandruff because, come from dry skin. Thing. I can't. <laughs> that's that's if I'm using your comb, I'm getting your dandruff from my hair. No. Come that's just a flake. Comb. That's just dead skin. That's like yeah. put my scab on That's your all arm. All the same thing. All the same thing. <laughs> like, Dandruff is like okay, a flake or two. When it becomes like a lot of it, like cradle cap, then you're into cradle cap. I thought cradle cap was actual. from when babies have a hat on too long it's as a baby. It's dry. It's dead, just dry skin, skin. Build up hard crusted. All of that's under the same thing. You got to treat it and give it the moisture and the medication that it needs. Now all this conversation comes from it's me the, saying the allergies in the skin and the stuff right, like we live that. in Ohio. It's a lot of people with this stuff, but it's like people don't take care of their hair the same way. You know, there's a like when people say they like to have their hair dirty. That's part of it. Like you, so, dreads are good for your hair or bad for your hair? Um, neither way. Huh? Neither way. Neither way. It's it's the person. Right? It's a style. Oh, hey. Who's yes, but then at the end of the day, that's a life decision. So that's an opinion factor. Like wigs, hate them. I just they was worried because how wigs. can you really clean all the way to your scalp with you can. under with mad hair? Growth, I can get down in there. But and how are you, you relieving the, the dead it? skin, the scalp you that's comb under there? It all through. How like, are you getting the comb through a dread? You can get the comb through a new growth. And then the rest, it? yes. Depending on what kind of dread it is. I'm talking the real dreads. Yeah, the the Rasta. Them, 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 them little wings. You take a comb and you separate it and you comb it out. You can comb from the scalp. You will take all of that out of there. Because I was seeing the one person on YouTube just cut the big dread in half. And then retwisted it that way. Because they, they had was talking a about lot mad of I'm talking about this thing looked at like it looked like a dog that been outside for like eight months. I think and I have nobody ever took that. care of. Black dude yeah. Like four years. Yeah. And, yep. I posted that. She was trying to give him a new thing, but he, if you seen how it started, he had a lot of dreads and a whole lot. Of, but that's the problem when you don't take care of your stuff. That's when it begins to be looking nasty and stuff like that, you know. And then now it's a stereotype. But then, like I said, it's a life decision. If you're a nasty person, you probably go. And Continue to be a nasty person with the dread. With the dread. Yeah, I mean, to me, for a person that doesn't like to do their hair, dreads is a good situation because we have different types of hair, different textures, lengths, and thicknesses, and densities, you know? So, for some people, I know personally, I, they need to do the sister lock because they don't want to get their hair cut. I mean, comb. Like, the combing process is a whole hour and a half. Aside of styling and washing and stuff like that. You mean just detangling? Just detangling. Because you don't want to do anything. You know what I'm saying? And now you come to me, and that adds literally an hour and a half. What do you do with tenderheadedness? I tell them it's against the law. Pray. You say against the law. That's the first thing, especially if they have a lot of hair. Now, if they don't have a lot of hair, I really tell them it's against the law because you ain't got enough to be showing out. But either way, it goes, it's against the law. The Lord blessed you with a whole lot of hair and it's long and pretty like this. Now, you got to sit and you got to be calm. So, tenderheadedness is not just a mental thing. It, it really, really is a skin sensitive thing. Like, it's, it's really a mental thing. People especially when it comes to kids they are anticipating the pain so as soon as they feel any kind of tug it's ah! yeah, cause my niece and i be my pulling on her hair like i'll like i'll grab the top of the braid like pinch the top of the braid and then i'll play with the bottom of it like i know i'm not pulling your with hair because time. i'm holding the, the 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 scalp part i'm holding and then i'm playing with the end of it trying to take the braid out you sitting there crying and acting like i'm like but I look, got a cold. Let me tell you something. It I done had clients 
they, I, like, I tell the dad, I'm so glad that you're here because I would go to jail the way that she cried. Like, when you're on the roots and you pardon, I understand that they feel it, right? So we're going to give you a little leeway with that. But you know how real I am. Like, I be seeing it and you know I see with the kids quick. I've been an auntie for longer than I've been a mama, but I show been a mama and I've been doing hair since I was seven. So I know the stages. So I'm coming, you know, we getting the wash and the blow dry. They sit still in the wash, but you know I'm scrubbing. So it can't that feel hurt good. That bad. Right. You know what I'm saying? It can't hurt that bad. Just me touching you. So we get in there, blow dry, and we showing out. I'm like, oh man, okay, I understand. Cause I do got to You know, I usually use a brush to make it better. And your hair's wet. I got the detangling product. You know. But when we get the braid in, and I just part, and they crying, ah, nah. I'm like, all right, now chill. All right, it's okay. I'm, a, I'm, we almost done. But when I'm on the hang time, and they be like, I'm like, oh, come on now, man, you, you on some trash you now, tripping. and they laugh at me. But look, I'm gonna be real because you on some trash. You can't come up in the shop looking beautiful, and then when you done. You look real beautiful, and now you want to smile and be in front of that mirror, but you gave me hell. No. Right. <laughs> no. Tell the truth. Yeah. Tell the truth. It was a bit. You showed <laughs> now, look, nice. I don't know how I dragged us all into this conversation about hair, but I, it started with me saying, my mama said, if you can't bring a comb, don't bring her home. I had never and heard that one. We got, you. once you stepped into the uh, subject of hair in the real world, I had questions that I had guests been sitting back there for a while because yesterday I attempted to do Legacy's hair. I was bored and I was sitting oh. there and um, so I took her um, her little lock thing that she had in her hair out. So boom, I'm taking them out and I'm starting to hear the <laughs> and I ain't got no comb. I ain't <laughs> hearing nothing. I'm just literally taking the extension, extended hair off the wrap of her hair. I ain't took the rubber her. band out. I ain't okay. did nothing. What's I'm literally just. your force level, though? What's your force no, level? No, I'm just pulling. Pull I'm, I'm literally like you know, taking really. my time because I know how she is. So I'm using my thumbnails and I'm pulling the hairs apart. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I was wait. trying to be And I hear like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't that make you so bad? <laughs> what you crying for? And I'm like, I ain't even got no comb in my head. I'm not doing so. I asked April to come help me. And April was knocking them down. Like April had did like two thirds of her hair before I did one third. And I'm like, well, you done now? Oh, no. I'm just like, oh, man. No. I can't take it. My nerves is. April, like we taking the rubber bands out? No, I don't want none of this smoke. If she just did all that with me <laughs> taking the extra extension, extension hair off. I ain't about to take these rubber bands off because then I got to complete the hairdo. And I ain't got that in me. I don't feel like fighting, though. So that's why her hair was looking like that today. But <laughs> blow with the wind, man. Put the rubber bands on the ears. You cool. Because I gave up yesterday. So I guess that's why we got on to that because eventually I'm going to have to start doing more things with her hair just because when she go other places, she's embarrassing. <laughs> what? I take it to the shop. Man, I'll be like, you know, when you get that call, get back here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When you get Rest. that drop off, when you get that call, you you go, you on your way to bust your move, and your phone ring, and they be like, Don't hey, leave it with me. Come get her, or friend. you got to come sit here with her because I ain't about to be spanking her every five minutes. And I'm not. I'm not about to hit nobody else's kids no more. So it's no. best that I keep her. <laughs> I, I gotta keep her hairdos no. close in proximity to where if she do gotta get popped, it's by somebody that she knows she can't be like abused because they was teaching them abuse in school this week. Mm -hmm. So they came home yesterday and told me how abusive I really am. Verbal abuse. They was like, they was, they... my kids <laughs> better not need to learn about it. <laughs> Oh, uh, they had to tell me how much how abusive I truly am. That's about yeah. all they get. They they so far. Right that's, that's I'm like, I ain't don't even be whooping y'all. Yeah. But you be calling us niggas. And, you be and what is that? <laughs> what is that? Learn something, nigga. <laughs> oh, you act it up. Yeah, these people at school was tearing <laughs> these kids up, but they really got in the car with me yesterday and said, You was abusive. <laughs> I didn't just wind up. What you like, I don't even whoop y'all. Like, man, like. But I'm abusive, though, because I be hollering and I be saying nigga and I be man. cussing. So, but, like, this is my thing with my kids, because my kids the same way. I be having to tell them, 
stand still, chill. Why you not back in your spot? Why you? Cause they just be in a world of their own. Like they don't care about nothing. They be singing, dancing, and playing, and <laughs> like get out of town with that. And then you looking at me crazy when I'm yelling, but I done repeated myself seven times. I'm already past three, and three I was pissed. You feel what I'm saying? So seven, I'm on. Nigga, I'm about to slap the shit out of you. <laughs> That's Did abuse. I tell you? That's abuse. <laughs> Your people gonna be at your door. Man. The counselor gonna call them in the account of the counselor call them in the office. Uh, they gonna office. say, "Did she hit me?" No, she, oh, but she might pop me outside. You know, it's a time. such thing as verbal domestic violence. We ain't doing that because the you thing is, I talk to my kids through it all. I might holler and I'll be like, "Now." Y'all sitting here running around. It's called verbal domestic violence. I know a dude that went to jail for saying, little bitch, I'll whoop your ass. I'll beat your ass, little bitch, for not doing the dishes. She said, 911. He threatened my life. He's a very good They came and arrested him. That's sad. He was in this place called CBCF for 180 days. I know CBCF. That's out there where I'm at. Murray Ridge, shout out to all the shirts. Don't look for my car, either one. Domestic violence. Yeah, they don't play about that. Come on, man. You might as well have whooped her. You might as well have went on there to put the strap on. Fuck her, fuck her, fuck her, fuck her, fuck her, fuck her. Bang. It's been done with it, man. But if you're going to go down for it, Man, what? no, like, because that, I don't know. I talk to my kids, like, all the way through the whole thing, and I'll bring it back up in 10 minutes. Like, you know, like, you know why I'm mad, right? You know what I'm saying? So, okay. I'm sorry for blowing up. Now, but listen. before we round off this timeline, then we need to touch so many different things. Did y'all see Mm-mm. the woman, the little girl, 17 year old girl with a two year old baby? that was arguing with her dad because she wanted to get a baby up because she wanted to be outside with her friends for the summer? No, but I whip her ass. Sorry. So he was trying to tell her that when you lay down and and at fourteen and laid situation. and opened your legs and let that boy do that to you, you gave up the street life. Your friends Can outside. Can we talk about this when we come back from break? Because oh, I got a situation. Man, look, there you go. Look, you are. You must have knew what time it was. There you go. Look, so you're I'm trying start to wind it, it down, but why you gonna start something deep like that? Look, dude, that's how you tease come them. On. That's. That's how you tease them and bring them in. Look, now, it's it's uh, halfway through the segment, so y'all know it's, <laughs> it's that time of the hour that we do our commercial shows. We, um, of course, I'm going to do RJ's Auto Pros. If you need your car worked on, you need your brakes did, you need your tires rotated, you need new tires, you need your windshield wipers. Ah, man, they do any You name it, RJ's Auto Pros will do and can do correctly because they got ASE certified mechanics uh they're open from i think like 7 a.m to 5 p.m so if you can't get in hey, within those hours i don't know what to tell you they are not open on the weekend though they use saturday and sunday man they ain't them doors closed but it's rj's auto pros for all of your auto repair needs there is uh the address is 310 east talmage avenue brimfield ohio Right out there by the the big Walmart, you know that real, real, real big Walmart and the Myers, you know what I'm saying? Out there, right there, that new stuff they just built. You gotta pass RJ's Auto Pros to get to that. So if you need anything done to your car, <laughs> contact them. The uh, phone number is three three zero six seven three seven seven six seven. And now we are gonna pass it over to Miss Mystique and let her get hers on, man. What you gonna do, man? Are you tired of the same old photos? <laughs> Are you looking for life pop? theory into your photos come on the smoke screen films we do it all we do videography we do photography we do everything we have uh model setups we have basic setups we have wedding packages if you want to get your picture taken take your picture with us over here at smoke screen films baby with the z on all platforms once again smoke screen films gotta say that z baby hey and then we gonna do miss making way Hey, it is your girl Megan Way J. And if you need your hair laid, laid down, you know, I'm talking about laid down like you ain't never seen since the 1990s. You know what I'm saying? If you want some finger waves, whatever you want, you want a pronto, you want some braids, you want your nails done on the natural side, I need you to look up Hair Loving Beauty Salon. We are under the leadership of the one and only beautiful Kimiata Hawthorne. And you can look us up all on Facebook. It is me, myself, Megan Way J, Kimiata Hawthorne, the JT Way, which is Jamie Tati 
Anna. Um, that is specifically for your braids and your dreads. And then we do have Miss KJ on the nail side. Look us up. Come down. It's a whole vibe. You will laugh. You will enjoy yourself. We have mimosas. We have live conversation. And everybody is light down slayed to the gods when they leave, honey. Call me and let's get you in a chair. What's going on? Why are you waiting? Man, look how we do it, man. So now that we got the bills out the way, because we got to make sure we get our sponsors taken care of because they take care of us. Of course, RJ is on the pro. Keep my car on the road. Smoke screen films. Keep my bills paid. Period. And then Megan J. Wake go keep everybody's hair did. So we about to change the game, man. Y'all know what it is, man. We just doing what we got to do. And that's stay positive and stay true to ourselves. So as I was saying before the break, mm-hmm. it was a 17-year-old mother of a two-year-old child and she was telling her father how she didn't want to be a mother anymore. She wanted to give up custody of her baby because she wanted to be outside. What is your take on that? Who we going so far? Is it one of me? Yeah. All right, so look, this is how I feel. I am a single mother. And when I say single, I mean single. When I say things, I mean the definition of the word. There is no one helping me literally for the last 10 years being a single mother. And there are times when I have been tired and wanted a break. But when you are a mother, there is no giving up there is i mean if you have the option to get help i understand you know people being able to take advantage that or utilizing that help i understand that i'm not one privy to that in any area of my life so i do understand her wanting to be outside when you're young so you should be outside but at the end of the day you open up your legs and had a baby honey this is different you gave that up. If you are allotted that privilege to do it every now and then, okay, be thankful, be grateful. But at the end of the day, that stuff is out the window. Because you would now have, and hopefully you didn't get pregnant stupidly and had your twins first. At least I had my one and then my twins. But my niece, she had her twins first and then the one. You know what I'm saying? So let's hopefully you were smart about getting pregnant and you did it in the right way. But at the end of the day, daddy was right. I got it the hard way. He just trying to tell it. Look, she could be left alone with the baby. Look, and if you don't man. want it, there's hospitals. There's people who want to have a baby. But you need to do that and make that decision in the beginning. See, I feel as a person that was a god dad early on. See, all of my friends, cousins, best friends, you know, all the people I ran with, my homies, they had children early. Like, they was parents before school was out, like, type stuff. So, we didn't, for us to be hood street dudes, we would have them kids in the back seat. Like, I don't understand as dudes. Everybody be like, man, y'all smoking. Man, the window open. Right. But we got them with us, though. Y'all ain't, y'all overlooking the picture of all this. We have to, we got Trayvon with us, though. Like, bro, like, he... At least he's with us. Yeah, we smoking. Yeah, we driving. it. But actually, the person who will be driving didn't smoke. Like, Trayvon's dad did the majority of the smoking. Like, back then, around this time, I hit weed. I didn't smoke weed. I might, I could, I could have one blunt all day. Mm. I used to just be able to be like, pop, pop, and put it out. Mm. Bop, bop, bop. Everybody be like, everybody thinks that I've just always been a smoker. No, I used to just hit weed back then. So they would assume <laughs> that everybody was like stupid high, but I wouldn't be. So Trayvon would be cool with us because it ain't like we in the car gas and gas and gas. And no, we might be chilling, sitting. Man, then they might fire up a blunt. We hit a blunt like that. But what I'm getting to is if men can have the common knowledge and be like, I'm, I'm not missing outside. And I know I had a baby. I got to take my baby with me. So we on the block with the stroller. Like, it, it was a joke. Like, Tifa, we ain't going to let you be out. Uh, we ain't about to leave you in the house by yourself, nigga. Come on, we coming to get you. Man, I got my baby. I don't care, nigga. Y'all going to y'all gonna lap up. The baby seat going to be right there behind me. And when we pull up and get to where we getting to, 
Plus, the chicks pull it up like, oh, y'all got a baby with your who's baby? See, who's... and that's just going to lead me to jump right in and say, that's why some dudes shouldn't have their baby with them when they out there in them streets. But oh. they're still not doing the same thing. Like, unless they just a downright dog, they're not doing the same thing that they would be doing if it was just them. Yeah, they're it's not believe, gonna put that baby in no type of home. Believe me, it would be days that they normally we couple, would have straps on days. us. We'd be out pushing packs and I'm saying that because I can't see it not, back then, maybe nowadays. Oh no, nowadays you got too many yeah. shootouts. Like yeah. two they they shoot yeah. cars up with so you no, you ain't supposed to have your baby in a car if you a hood nigga. And nowadays if you, age, if you a street nigga <laughs> now, like in the day's age now, no. Nah, no, because see, it's different with today's youth. For sure. Perk tens mm. is like a cigarette now. <laughs> so, why you looking like that? Who, who said that? These little people do drugs out here. <laughs> He said that on his I ain't never. I can't take a person. See, but I forgot you from over there. No, 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 no. Because my, my brother's wife, she would sit there and crush up her pills and store it. I'm like, y'all think I ain't seen nothing. I ain't oh, seen a whole lot of these, I not that. My people's daughter OD'd off a of fake perk 30. I, my they people's said cousin did it a couple of months ago. Uh, but that's my thing. Like, why would you risk your life for something like that? And you got a kid. Like, that's the whole thing. If you got a kid, like, you got a reason to live. They're is that partying. That it's just I don't a care. Party I can drug. still party. I've been drinking for the last six days. <laughs> that's different. You're <laughs> no, an adult. I'm partying. That's your party level. Man. These people, I blame it's it on the days, parents. But I've been Listen, drinking for six days. If the days. parents have a secret drug addiction and they had this baby. Man. When that baby first get their first taste of that, whatever Man. substance, they hooked and they love it and they're going to keep rocking with it. Man, and I'm so glad God made me strong. A lot of early on people from the early on, you know, like the early 2000s, you know, they was backing that thing up off, off of them X pills. <laughs> they was, you know what I'm saying? They was, you know what I'm saying? I'm was, so <laughs> glad I'm like six years <laughs> under air. They God. was, they was. Backing that thing up off the X pills, man. Like ninety nine to two thousand. And now it was twenty four. So the twenty four age group is children of Molly. the X pill age. The Molly yeah. and the X and the So yeah. if we was if we was what's that word? If I we was what's the the pro the uh, the polite word to use? And me and if a woman and a man was engaged in Adult activity, Relation. and then they had the baby. What was that word when they, when she get in sick when the sperm hit conception? Hit? Yeah. Okay. At the moment of conception, if they had, they both was off of yeah. like the ex and stuff. Yeah, that make that... them an ex baby. <laughs> <laughs> you funny. <laughs> Wow. Is so it got DNA? crack babies? <laughs> Is it their DNA? <laughs> Hold on, we got crack babies. We got Molly babies now, because that's what they was doing. I'm glad my babies, I ain't going to say what they is, but. But you get what I'm saying? They they would have to my be. My babies ain't nothing but that. They would have and to be. And wasn't even uh, that, because I chilled all the way out. So. It was times, man, Lord. Mm -mm. I mean. These 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 young people out here do. I mean, hard drugs is in now. Like when I was young, Man, I want to live. I want to live. I ain't. I ain't. Uh, that that be my whole thing. So, if you a if you if you a young girl, I know old niggas that's you, doing it too though. So mm -hmm. if the old niggas is doing it, the young they've girls been doing think it for a while. Do it. They don't know that right. liver about to shut down, but you know. Man. Sitting in the bed looking like this. Y'all is funny, man. I don't Can't even function. know how I deal with y'all sometimes, man. Look, man. <laughs> I don't even, I'm for real, man. I don't even sit here and just try to have these conversations amongst adults. But. We adults. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we adults. That I was not an adult. Yeah, we adults. Adult. But we tell you what, what Your comes no, first in Bless the mama. Our mama's gonna go. Oh man, but you know what I'm saying? What I was getting to is it's not like it used to be. And so for the twenty and 
like 20 year age, 20 to 30 year old people, I feel like a, a lot of them are the new version of the crack babies. Mm. It's just a new wave and it's more intense because the world has sped up. Like back then, we were still living in slow towns. Mm -hmm. we, our city wasn't fast. But now every city fast because the internet is fast. Mm -hmm. So as soon as a new trend comes wherever, mm -hmm. we catch on to it here. But back in the day, the new trend would be over there yeah, and then it'll, it'll trickle to us. <laughs> then, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like it'll come from the West Coast or it'll come from the East Coast or it'll, like, or it'll come from Detroit mm -hmm. or it'll come from Atlanta. But mm -hmm. we had to wait till it got here. Mm -hmm. Now we see it as soon as they do it. Like, yeah. Oh, hey. It's about to be hot. Ah, ah, ah. No, I feel you on that. And that, that that's crazy. It's just the new age of the, the, the crack babies. That's all. No matter what drug it is. So to me, when they get a taste of that drug, they body be like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to feel like? Mm -hmm. And now they want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> felt this when they was a baby. You a fool. <laughs> Yeah. Remember this. I want it. I want it. Yo, I want I'm it. On I want it. Now. We that live in a world bad. of junkies. Like back in the day, man, when they used to tell us, what did it say? Up with hope, down with dope. <laughs> Up with hope, down with dope. Like there used to be little sayings they used to say. Like now it's like, oh, you don't, you don't pop pills? No. You don't smoke weed? No. No, I'm saying. Shroom. But that's how I be. Because no. black people oh, yeah, go out. I don't want to try that. Now the shrooms is. Like, try I didn't see. Man, come on, man. The only thing you I want to do. Eight. You want to lose The only thing I want to do is stuff that comes naturally from the earth. And Amen. Like, but I'm saying, you want to hallucinate. Cannabis. You want to see no, melting colors. Do. You want to see. You want to see walking daisies. But you do you see why you did it yet? Like, I don't. I don't want to see nothing that's not there. No. I don't want to imagine that's nothing. I don't want to. <laughs> smoking weed does it's just enough to me. It, it, yeah. it does what it's supposed to do. It slows my brain down when I have you know, racing thoughts. Um, it it that that cool chill it out. It puts is, a I little relax. bucket in your system when you yeah, need to get like, there. Like, like, you know what? That, that, that relaxation mode. That that I just don't care, like I ain't tripping about it. That like that sensation, that's cool with me. That's okay. I thought one time my cousin dropped some pills in the liquor <coughs> bottle. And I thought I, I hit the liquor bottle. Nigga, I was so panicky. I tried to fight this nigga the next day <laughs> because I think my paranoia had me tweaking. Cause see, they all pop pills. They all put the the. The pills and the liquor Steve. and all that shit. So <laughs> I stopped really drinking because I don't know. I ain't got time to be inspecting oh, your liquor bottle. You talking about like how they be having the water bottle and stuff like that? No, they used to, they used to put X inside their liquor. But that's what I'm saying. It would be in the water bottle. No, they used to do the, they they used used to the whole bottle like the one that you're sharing with X. people. Oh no! They used to put liquid X in the water. So. Oh no! Oh, liquid X. No, in the so water. what they do, like especially when Molly came out, because that's when I was picking up whatever. Um. Everybody got they they water bottles. Got your liquor in Molly it because you water. can't go in wherever you going. So we got that. They put oh. their Molly in it. They asked in it. I been stopped drinking off of other people. Oh, they, used to, they used to just literally just put the peel inside Wet. the bottle of Hennessy, no. inside the bottle of Goose, no inside, inside the. You know what I'm saying? That's from that way. I know somebody. She uh, I met her at the bus stop, and some the dude I was talking to. He told me like, yeah, she messed up or whatever because she got a cigarette from somebody, and they didn't tell her that he dipped the cigarette. So she smoked the whole cigarette. From then on, she was messed up. We had a like, dude that we went to school with that was like that. I'm talking about. My damn, excuse me. We had a dude that was like one of the <laughs> most liveliest, friendliest dudes that you wanted to kick it with. I'm mm -hmm. talking about dude Donnie was like, I'm talking about he was lovable. Like everybody messed with him. Like I ain't never seen him argue with nobody. Nice. Like he was cool. All of a sudden, one year I just seen him walking up the street with that, with that look on his face, mm -hmm. with the that, with that, that gone. yeah, Somebody that gone look. This. And they said if somebody had spiked him. Never came back. Yeah. Right. No. Yeah. It's so easy. To... I got a cousin. If he don't got that do rag on or that towel on around his wrist, don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. He already had mental health problems, and that's his safeguard. Like he's okay when he got that. But if he don't got it, do not mess with him. Don't call his name. 
you liable to get oh uh, so how we uh, i want to know you from lorraine i'm originally from cleveland i grew up in both cleveland and Elyria. Elyria. Okay, Elyria. I keep getting them mixed up. I don't know I work why I get in Lorraine. Lorraine. What's up? Hey, Lorraine and Elyria like kissing. They like they like yep. right there, border to each other. Maybe that's why I keep getting them mixed up because they right there, yep. like next to each other. But um, it's five of us, right? <laughs> what is the drug scene really like up there? Man, everybody smoke, but like we ain't in a drug no more. But that's what I'm saying. Like everybody smoke, um. It depends. Like everybody do whatever. It's a lot of alcoholics. A whole lot of alcoholics out there. That's bad. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot of crack. They still <laughs> fat and all. See, I, 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 I was scared. I, they got a whole all. narcotics task force, so I'm really not worried about it. I, you know, it's kind of cool. That fat and all shit, man. I'm telling you, I was so glad. I haven't. I haven't been in the drug world in so, 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 so long. Yeah. That when it came to that fentanyl shit, I was so removed that I was just looking at people die off of it. And I was just like, wow. What is going on? And it was like, man, them niggas had that fetty and they touched it and they died. Like, literally. What the fuck? You could do like, that. they touched it? Literally like, they just put their it. finger on the bag. Because and died. it's different. It's different kinds. Like, there's the pill, it's in the capsule and stuff. Like, they literally give it to you at the hospital. Which is crazy to me. But then you can order off the black market and it's in the same thing. But you can literally touch the, touch the inside. And like when you touch crag and you could get tested positive just because you served it up. Yeah. Like it's so intense and pure. It could kill you just off touching it, not even fully ingested. And just imagine the people who just sat there and ingested the pill or then broke that pill down and put it in some weed. My brother died off of K2 and fed me. No, heroin. And it was what? Nice. Yep. Yep. Right. It was mixed stuff. with Heron yep. and K2. Heron, K2. Fed I thought you bought K2 from the store. Like yeah. the corner yeah, store. But, why would, but look, this is the whole thing. Why are you buying K2 if you not, and then you you buying Heron and Fentanyl? I don't know. He sat there in the car with the dude and was smoking. So I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know. But like, why would you do Heron? If you're not, if you're gonna do K two, because that's supposed to be the non THC, you know what I'm saying? But you know, they said hard drugs leave your system in three days. We stay your thinking. system for thirty. That's the weirdest shit ever. Like, so, but it don't though. It'd be like two weeks. What? Okay. We. We. Yeah, it'd be like your a fat week, sales yeah. going on. Look, bro, and I'm all fat. As skinny so like as I weeks. am, I went to the CBCF one year, right? Mm. You know, they are supposed to let you out in ninety days and start working. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm ready to get out because I work for small screen films. They ain't no what you mean. Like I'm out. They like no, you can't leave because somehow the way you keep flunking your piss test, and I'm like, man, oh, man, man, you switch that up. Come on, no, but I bet if they test the beat, that was good. That's all fine. I, I, I said it, I, it's I, you can't <laughs> leave until after that. 45 days, but my piss was still dirty after 45 days. Wow, and I hadn't smoked, so I did. I wasn't able to leave. Until my numbers went down, so I could start oh, working. Nah. That's crazy. Yeah, that, I, I miss said that it wasn't a ninety day program. It was, it was a ninety day program, so you couldn't get out until forty five days to go to work. So it was, it was the middle, but I my piss was still dirty. That's crazy. It was swarming down. I was still smoking, but I just smoked that much that my it's just in my DNA. So you were still chill in jail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was just chilling. Everybody's be like, you don't want to buy none of this weed? No, my oh, guy. No, I got I'm weed off the street leave. still in me. I'm about to go I'm home and really leave. smoke. Why would I want to <laughs> smoke in here? Out. Cool, man. We just just chilling. Just chilling. So uh, what else that happened in your lives this week? You want to discuss it? Everybody got quiet. Nobody want to talk about uh, nothing. Because uh, we got six minutes left. And you ain't with <laughs> she said, you ain't did a thing on the nowhere desk. near that. You, you barely. <laughs> but wait, look. You ain't touched it. I'm sorry. This is cool. <laughs> That's what's happened in my life. Speak. <laughs> 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 so you tell me 
wise, <laughs> you were intervening. Why was it? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never had to. I was always led in. If I was, we're, good. we're not gonna go on air with this. But yeah, whoa. So this is what we gonna do right Look, now. Can't... Look, Whoa. since we had a nice little um, laid back conversation, I'm going to pass the mic over to Miss Mystique and let her take us where we're supposed to go. Sure. Um, I <laughs> thought I was rocking. I know. I, I thought I was chilling. I thought I was keeping everything on time. I didn't realize it was that much that went by. Right. It, I, I really chilling. didn't. So I guess right now we would do the word game. Who's <laughs> <laughs> well, can I ask a question? Oh, yes. Okay. Please. So we got an opportunity for St. Patrick's Day to go to Silks. I'm going. I wanted to know, can you go? This dude has prior obligations. He just better bring back some video. <laughs> some video material. But you, you want to go know, kick it? Know. All right. Three P's need representation. Get a little bit <laughs> Uh, uh, it. Get it out of here, yo. I was no, trying to give her time to get ready. This gonna be the extended version today. Wow. We gonna see how long we gonna rock, That's man. Still out this too. Extended Come on. version. Yeah, we cool. We comfortable, <laughs> man. I'm just saying. For one, normally I'm not this talkative because I'm back here with the clacka 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 Normally, I'm too busy occupied dealing with my technology. Today, I'm comfortable with my technology. I ain't got to touch nothing, measure no meters. I ain't got to make sure no wires connected, right? I am officially A-OK. I can do what I need to do, and that is participate in the conversation. But you know know me especially when i'm smoking i get to ask you weird questions because we, we touched on it uh so I'm telling him this is why there was no intervention we, going. So, we were enjoying but, the conversation but the God, hour like, went we by so going. fast and then you looked at me like all right right <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. yeah you uh, man i mean yo so okay but Do okay, what, we, what it is, what was good? What are you requiring at this moment in time? At this Matt moment, Billy? I want to talk Edward, about the good. things that I skipped over because I didn't have a whiteboard in front of me to keep me on my track. I was not paying attention to our allotted time zones for each segment. So mm-hmm. me being the blabbermouth that I am today. <laughs> I'm not tripping. I hope not. I'm not tripping. What I'm asking you is, I'm going to go ahead and look at this, and I think... Oh, yeah, the other. Let's discuss (laughs) what What? we didn't discuss. Wait, what you want to discuss? Human trafficking. Uh -uh. Ooh, I was right on it, too. Look at that. Man, listen. So, yeah, we were talking about how if a guy, a guy, he mentioned that he helped a girl out with her OnlyFans. Another guy that's online is no. Tell her, tell her the sick, tell him the situation that you see. Tell him you got to start. From, tell him the whole premise of what you're talking about. Come on, the human trafficking. We were talking. That was a whole conversation. Yeah, but we was talking about, we was talking about the, uh, the one versus twenty segment. How it came up, though. I thought one versus twenty. Oh, uh, it's a new new phase going on online where there's one dude or girl versus twenty girls or guys. I have went like off that? on my niece about that. Okay. I did. Okay, so a two man. It's they they kept calling it a two man and a six man. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, 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 no, 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 no,
it's I was in the same pocket. Okay. No, it it, it it could be it could mean it could mean well, so it depends on which way they use it. A two man can be me and my homeboy go to meet her and her homegirl. But what I'm finding out when they use it with a certain twist to it, a two man mean we went over old girl's house and tossed her up. And my 14 year old niece was talking about that last summer. No. And so was I wrong to stop her? And what you mean? No, you're not. But no. Shell, what, what's going on? I mean, I started calling my sister. Come on down here. What is this? Explain. And she kept saying it like, you, you know how I am. I'm going to give you one chance. I'm going to give you two chances. And on that third chance, my antennas was all the way up. Like, why do y'all keep talking about that? Then the other nieces was there. And I know they fast. You get your little midget ass somewhere and sit down. And I don't want to hear nothing about no two, ten, no. twelve. Fitty, I don't okay. care. Wow. What it is, they had this new talk show slash game show out now that different people have in different versions of it to where a dude who's available, a bachelor or a bachelorette is out and there's 20 people that decides they want to go on a date with him or not. So it's a oh, black version that show. of black bachelorette or whatever like that. It's a Pop black the balloon and all right, that. Yeah, I, I watched right. that. I watched so that. dude said that he he earns his money by helping OnlyFans models. Right. So everybody was popping a balloon like, oh, man, anybody good. doing that? Like, right, yeah. And then he was like, why? And he's like, because he had OnlyFans where he, you know, get, and get his money. <laughs> and then he helped them by looking at their videos and maybe posting them somewhere else. And then I was telling her that there's men now that has been charged with human trafficking for doing that. 17 counts. Of Human trafficking felony, is felony so counts. vague now to where you could just be the girl's driver and you'll get charged with human trafficking. That's some straight up law and order stuff for you. Like, right do, there. Do. I know you do law OnlyFans. I know you be tricky. You a stripper. I know you do all that, right? I just hope and, I'm not on OnlyFans. And you ask me, you're like, I don't really trust this dude. So I'm thinking like, hey, can you drive me out there to sit in your car while I go in the hotel room and do what I do? That way, I don't, when I come out, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm just comfortable, you know what I'm saying? I give you a hundred just to do this. As a dude that just need a couple dollars, yeah, I drive you out there for a hundred, sit in the car for 20, 30 mm -hmm. minutes, and you gonna come back out and give me a hundred and drive you back to the strip bar and let you go? No, I'm your pimp slash human trafficker now. So I got when, you. if she get knocked, I get knocked too. She's going to get the prostitution charge, mm -hmm. but I'm going to get the human trafficking charge because mm -hmm. I'm the one that drove her there. Mm -hmm. That's an episode of Law and Order. So that's the way that it changed the laws now. Man, so dude from Cleveland serious. was all on Facebook advertising, helping chicks and doing what he do, and now he what, got caught 17 charges. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if you're from Cleveland, but uh, yes, pretty much 17 of the felony type. Mm. <laughs> Those type they, they throw that human trafficking around, and so my guys, if y'all out but there... But he was on line with it. He was on line with it. He was well, she gonna find these people to... like, Back check page. out my babe. <laughs> she out here. You want to find any ninety ninety ninety? I'm like, this dude, wow. And they Come gave him seventeen down. counts of it. So hey. that's crazy. <laughs> play with these folks, or do something more discreetly, or find a way around them laws that you want to do, and get the paper. Signed. I mean, like, but if you, you don't know, if you don't know, you ain't thinking nothing of it. Most dudes <laughs> would accept that, honey, because they know I ain't doing nothing, and. Hey, I might get a free looky oh. look or something at the end of the night. I hey, most uh, dudes go to the strip bar and pay money. So if I'm gonna go to the strip bar and I'm gonna make some money, I draw you. <laughs> but what if it was like an Uber driver? Like he's still gonna get charged? He what if he was, he was legit? on the clock? Mm -hmm. He gotta show his he gotta show the Uber pickup. <laughs> I be trying to come up with a cover, don't I? Every yeah. time I'm if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. I mean, I find it funny because I've done it. I got, as a, as an Uber driver, I, mean, I went I've to the driven. strip bar, like my and her only job was, can again. you take me to Canton? Is you, is you willing to go to Canton? But when you drop me off, I need you to stay and wait for me because I'm doing what I got to do. And we so that let me know 
that you about to go in somebody's house and then you don't want to wait for another Uber that's going to drive you back to Akron because most people not going to take that drive at three in the morning. Because then once I get in Akron, I still got to drive back to Canton to get back home without no money. So I would have been dropping her off and then driving back to Akron without a fare. So I'm like, shit, I sit here for 20 minutes, jumped on Facebook, Blooka, 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 right, blooka, blooka, mind blooka. your business. She came back outside, handed me 150. Thank you. That's your tip. I'm like, because I'd agreed to the 100. That's how I know it so detailed. Mm-hmm. I agreed <laughs> to the 100. Off the, you Thank off the you. Uber clock, the 100 to go to Canton. Come on, man. Rush that right here, man. Right. Yeah. And who would not? And then we who would? Back I to would Akron. Then we got back here. She gave me the other fare back home. Like, boom. Period. I'm like, good looking. So call I'm me just anytime. Thinking, no, like, of course, I gave her the phone. No, call no. me anytime. I got but you. not knowing I was human trafficking. Ah, on, on the law books, mm-hmm. if they was the knockers right then, I would be. Cause I would have been arrested for human trafficking, but I wasn't human trafficking. I, I was straight up. I would have her both way. way. <laughs> just go ahead and reserve me for your rides, and that way we cover. You know what I'm saying? At least I'm covered. That's what I would do. I don't look. You want to set this up? Let's do it for real. I'm a, I'm your lift from now on. <laughs> but then now I'm your employee. I don't on care. a drug on a um illegal business. Oh, she just called me for lift. I work through lift. I, I don't, don't know, know what, what she, she do. I don't know what she do. I don't. I, I, just, I was, know uh, what's, what's when I of, take her. I'm home health aid. I thought yeah. she was a whole uh-huh. health aid. She was going to clock in and uh-huh. get that woman a bath or something. I was just chilling. Oh, believe me, I would have worked on my toes. I would have had know what I'm saying? I just wanted to say, yeah, she's selling pussy. Oh! <laughs> How would you really? You fucked your lips to me. I don't know. What, look, I'm like, not gun, like just them, told on myself. Man, like, like them witnesses on the gunner case. I don't know what they was doing. I, 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 this is what I see, was doing. I, I, I was sitting there in my car see. doing Uber. See, my phone says I was Ubering at such and such a time. I picked up my fare at such and such a time. I dropped off my she fare. She like me. Such... She just be tipping me real good, and I like it because her her like... her fares before wherever she goes is always yeah. far, Your Honor. And look, it's all in the book. Hey, the furthest, you ain't gonna Fanny Lewis to me. The furs I you took some. I didn't think about it until I paid attention to their conversation when we got to the nine. So from Wooster, Ohio. To Cleveland at the Nine Hotel, mm-hmm. and as we getting off the expressway, I'm listening to them, and I look in the mirror, and realize they was getting dressed. I'm like, that ain't what they had on when they got my fucking back seat. But I ain't paying no attention because I'm so busy driving on the expressway. <laughs> they didn't put on their after five dresses with the titties out. <laughs> so that right. They doing their part. You do your part and drive and wait. I'm just driving. And you wait to drive again. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's you it. That's all. Oh, drive but I'm just, it, it's, it's crazy. Man. That so, one, 50, that two at the end of the day, and then don't let them need something else. What's up? Oh, of course I had to stay for <laughs> I, hey, they needed a ride home, but then I thought they was gonna need a ride home. She was like, "No, we got a hotel room. We cool." Thank and then you. I wound up catching another uh, Uber ride off the app, though, since I was up in Cleveland downtown. You legit? Got the popping, so you fine. legit? I, they could only be going up here to this hotel to do one thing. Period. They 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 just put on one of those type of outfits, Come and on. they was like, "Oh, we ain't coming back. We gonna we gonna get a room." But I was listening to what y'all was talking about the last couple of little miles. Y'all was going to do what y'all do. And you just be ready to try. <laughs> I know uh, my position. <laughs> I'm going to play it. What y'all know about that Miami shutdown, man? How y'all feel about that? I ain't heard nothing. Fill me in. Uh, yeah. I heard we were talking about it yesterday. Mm-hmm. You show whispered over there, ma'am. Can you join the conversation? She ain't right. She's, she's no, they ain't because I'm in. Yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> he was talking about Mr. it yesterday. Mr. Yeah. Anyway, no, we was talking about uh, the Miami shutdown. You said was, they couldn't get their phones. People on vacation were getting overcharged for uh, parking, $100 period, because you were from out of town. So we're going to charge you $100. Yeah. Oh, look. Good. But man, he had me flipping. I was like, the game. Yes. And then they charged them. When they got their cars towed, they towed like 
dollars. Dude only had it for a certain amount of time. It was girl. It was just like money on top of money. Like he, oh, I, what I got from it was, oh, they trying to steal all your little vacation money and how you call it home to get some more. So yeah, it's serious. He said they was this is what they were doing. But go ahead, explain what you were telling to me. It's um, was it was called <laughs> the breakup. Miami's breakup with spring break. So what they're doing is they're deterring people from coming so they may 8 o'clock curfews for mm. all the bars. Parking decks, parking lots. If you wasn't a Miami resident, flat rate, $100. Just to park. Flat rate. It's all the signs. Flat rate, $100. And if you got told and you were not a Miami resident, there was an extra $365 fee attached to the $180 tow fee because you wasn't a resident. Mm. They mm. passed all them laws. The streets of Miami was bare. Do and the see? people that did get knocked, they was hateful that they came down there because that mean they was out their pocket, mm. yo. All their taxes gone. You couldn't schedule an Airbnb for nothing dead. less than six months in one day. It had to, you couldn't schedule an Airbnb just for the weekend. If you didn't schedule your Airbnb for six months in one day, it wasn't available. Wasn't no popping in. So you had to stay there for six months in one day. Or you couldn't get an Airbnb. So That's crazy. They didn't want you coming to Miami, staying there, sleeping there, spending no money there. They don't care. But you think about all the millions they just lost, though. That's what I'm saying. That's what's in my head. All the millions that normally get spent from you don't mess with my wife. March to April. All those little businesses that, that make the money from, you know, uh, the extra little parties and mm -hmm. venues and all that shit for the tours. They was empty. So now I normally used to make 10000 a weekend. Now I done made uh, $800 this yeah. weekend. Because the tourists ran away because of y'all new laws. They didn't affect y'all. Y'all at home sleep at 8 o'clock anyway. But that was the point of putting them in effect so it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> so then who do you want down there in Florida? That's what I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Who do they want? They're doing all these laws and they've been doing things for a long time. Florida is the one place that I don't want to go. People, it's like you a don't like going to vacation. I've the been there one time when I was younger, and I would like to go back and take my kids. But why would I go to Florida and they're acting up? Gators. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't nothing in Florida that I need. I can go to California. Hey, I deal with the bloods and the crypts before I go to Florida. The earthquakes. <laughs> the earthquakes. Funny. I That's deal with the earthquakes. Right I can run. Yeah. Pick a side. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a side with all of them. You is funny. You said I'd rather deal with the bloods and the crips than go to Florida. <laughs> He's the old people. Hey, look, man. Well, As a person that like to go to both sides of the map, I like Cali. I like going to Florida for, like, you wouldn't believe it, but Disney World and Disneyland is different. Mm -hmm. They're not. They got to. It's similar, but they're different. Universal in Orlando is different than the Universal in LA, Hollywood, I mean, that area. So I go to both. Um, there you go. I, I don't know how I let that slide. I'll but go one day. I mean, the heat is different. Hemisphere heat is hotter than Cali heat. To me, I was hotter in Florida than I was in L.A. It's weird because it's like the sun busts your neck down in Florida. It'd be like right there on you. I'm telling you, it's weird, it's man. It'd be like, equator. yeah, because you're close to the but equator. You're higher to the sun being in the mountains and stuff. But it's a different type of heat, though, because you up there, it's not really that dry yeah. heat. Okay. Because you up with the clouds where I be at out there. Mm -hmm. But when you down in LA, yeah, it's it's vicious too. But I don't know how I get on that right there, man. Oh, we well, talking I'm about, a visit myself. We were talking about the differences between Florida and Cali. Mm -hmm. Where you where you how where you been at? How far you to travel? 
Um, as an adult or as a kid? Anytime. Um, Florida is the furthest. We go to Alabama like it ain't nothing. Atlanta like it ain't nothing. Kentucky like it ain't nothing. We go to New York, New Jersey. Horse, Michigan. Like, I know that like Man, it's going to Cleveland. My son's mother's family lived down south in the backwoods. I think it's Mississippi. Mississippi. Um, I had on some chucks. Mm-hmm. She invited me to go down there. So I go. When I put my foot on this asphalt, <laughs> I heard it bubble and sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, what the world? When I tried to pick my shoe back up, it was stuck. It it was stuck. I'm like, and they was out there playing softball, beat and running the bases. I was like, man, y'all is out here, out of y'all mind, man. <laughs> I was just sitting in the car, like looking out the window, like, man, this is this heat is crazy, but it's on the it's on the uh, hemisphere. Yeah, that's right there. On the equator, yeah, equator, yeah. yeah it's right, it's right there. So. Different. I guess the heat like just goofy different. different right there, man. Like, it is. But I like going down south. Like what part of down south you say again? All of it really, but Alabama is immediate. Georgia is immediate. Georgia? Yeah. I'm about to have that paper from your ass. Why? Why? I, I know where I know somebody. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm moving this one over you, here. You usually Hey right. look, I'm you I'm gonna give it to you raw. I'm gonna give it to you, Ross. Since since we in our environment where we can have fun, we can have the shits and giggles, we can talk shit, we can do whatever we gotta do. Normally, I don't be in control of the conversations, so it's a weird dynamic right now. So and she ain't trying to take the reins neither. I'm trying to keep passing. You trying, I'm but trying she like back at you. Right, right. I keep trying to pass back at it. you. I'm passing it, and you just look at that, and then it just go out of bounds. And then I'm like waiting for the pass back in, and I dribble a little bit, and I pass it. <laughs> because we had a meeting yesterday, Uh-oh. and boy, man, yeah. All I'm saying is they didn't they took the papers, the cue cards from me now, so now I don't know what I'm talking about. You, y'all see so. exactly where it was when he was grabbing it. Well, can, can I ask, what is the word of the day, at least? Well, you know when we do weird words, I give you five. Oh, Choice but I meant that for the theme of our for today. Cold. Cold? Thank you for asking. C O D E code. Well, look, we done broke time. all the codes and kept them at the same time. Didn't? But this is why the code, I said I'm answering my questions. So as I'm, I'm like, okay, yeah. Because I had already we're, pre- we're actually doing it instead of talking about it. We got our own way. Three P. That's it's why I don't understand what the problem you is. I'm reading the comments, Pim. <laughs> you sticking the code. I ain't mad at you. But you know what I'm saying? It's just like. That's I'm why I thought we was good because code. you, I, I noticed that you were paying attention to the people that was talking to us over there. I, when I looked to see your laptop up, I realized that my that one of the views that I was seeing was you. So I was like, oh. oh and so I'm like, when I looked out to see people was participating, I just was trying to stick to the. I feel you. I appreciate script. you, and you have been out. So. Where's my chair, by the way? Your phone. <laughs> you don't want to fill up. Wait a minute. Man. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, you. It's on here. I'm pretty sure you probably know about this one. The Miss Netta and Charles. Oh, what's going on? They surgery. They got canceled. They getting canceled. How they getting canceled? Uh oh, hey. But before that, I see they surgeries. His abs is lopsided. No, see. most men's abs. Most no men's abs are straight. The most no. Men's this abs. looks like magnets. You know them square, them rectangle magnets that you I get. Seen it. But it looked like this. The first one was like this. The second row is like this, and it's turned well, like this. The majority of men's stomachs, muscles, are not like you thinking about. Perfect egg, I know. egg basket, you know, like the egg cartridge. I know, but it's right like this, other. and no, turned to the side, too. Like, they slipped up and then installed it into the skin the right way. So not, you, you it's think, way off. It ain't like oh, okay. so you think they'd have sold some muscles under his skin? They sold a magnet in there because it ain't going down. 
That is, you, you think they it? got? You think that man did got magnets it? under his skin? Yeah, I seen he it. Got something. Did you see it, Sean? Yeah, silicone. Mystique. I don't know why I just called you. Huh. But now, <laughs> but now, thank you. So that's the you need the visual. That's <laughs> not got a BBL. <laughs> did y'all see the other big girl that was there too get her surgery? Rolly. No, uh, the other big dark skinned girl that was on Judge Mathis. No. That her boyfriend took her on Judge Mathis and said she'd be sending her uh her Oh, the one you did, yeah, yeah. To she her. got it too. She was on there too. Ain't no way. So it, it must have was a free it no, they do it for free, free. free publicity. Mm -hmm. So they picked all the new social media stars and mm -hmm. gave them all uh treatment. Mm-hmm. They're gonna have to give that one a lot. Because her they... backside is empty. It's drained a little bit. Wait a minute. Somebody it, sucked it, her it, booty it, juice yeah. out. But did I you see Miss Netta's no. news? Her new <laughs> melted subject. I didn't see the whole figure. I want to see. Nah, let me look. Let you got to see look. her in that black outfit. You got to look oh. her up in that black outfit. Melted subject. She <laughs> looked like. Miss Netta is a piece of work, nah. y'all. And Charles, man. Charles, he said, the comments said, the back don't match the front. <laughs> Charles, that boy looked like he looked it looked funny. It's like he looked fat with a with a six pack. Like it's fat skin he got love him. like arms, chest, everything, but then it just like like the airbrush six pack right there. The Rowley effect. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is what they do for the money. I mean everybody the creative body is nothing these days. They tripping, but then again, when they go to the bad doctors and this I'm shit fails, I've seen the so before. Sad. I ain't seen. Like, why your booty hangs like that? <laughs> what happened? I mean, what do you do? For one, you just spent all the money you had on this surgery. It's a shocking uh -oh, turn uh -oh. of events. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was looking for the results. Mm -hmm. It's not really showing me any results yet, so. It, it, they show a bunch of things, but yeah, Miss Netta is a piece of work. I love it. I love every minute. You love Miss Netta. You love the whole movement of Miss Netta. What What do you love, love about Miss Netta? I love the craziness. The, I mean, because they really trying and then messing up. Do you know that they did a video of them coming out of a hotel, getting into a limousine, right? Had a laugh track. Oh, Miss Netta, I love you. Can we get a picture? Can we get an autograph? Oh, I love you. It's Charles. It's Charles. They come out of another airplane in Miami, get off, and it's the same voice tracking of the other video. But then Charles themselves done put the original video up there without the laugh track on it. So you're trying to fool people and say it's that called trolling. Let me explain. They trolling themselves. No, they're not. 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 Listen to me. Listen to me. I gotta. I gotta break down how meta, how they pay you your metadata. Mm -hmm. What it is, negative click, negative comment, good click, good comment. It all counts as a click and a comment. Mm -hmm. So if I do something that's going to attract the crowd to talk bad on me, to just, you going to make a joke, they going to make a joke, they going to come back and talk about your joke, people going to comment under your joke. All them is counting as interactions. All those interactions is giving me clicks. All those is giving me that's leading to me earn money. So sometimes these train wrecks are tr str strategic. Mm -hmm. ah, I can't believe I just had a, a tongue tie on strategic. Sometimes these train wrecks are strategic and they're they're planned out. Do you think that man couldn't easily went back and push delete within the next second? Oh yeah, I know it. He could. But that's like, why oh, I love I made a mistake. Went right back. Before you could screenshot and and fit it, download it up. While you're trying to download it, it just disappeared mm -hmm. because I didn't deleted it already because I, I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. When I upload stuff, I have to rewatch it to make sure that I uploaded the correct stuff. I don't mm -hmm. just upload and walk away. Right. I upload and I'm go. Oh, was that the right file? Even though I know I got the right label and all that all stuff, right. I'm gonna make sure that I got the right stuff up there because I don't want to leave with the wrong mistake. Right. So you telling me these people making a bag? No. Made that mistake. It didn't. It, had, it, it, it was per to me. It was purposeful. It was purpose because it's talking about them. It was their name. Yeah, it, and it, that's why I like them. It's messy, but it's still in the range of you know, little silly, stupid stuff like to keep their name in the public. Now, the one I don't like is Marco, Shamar. That's that man's name. 
crooked body. <laughs> crooked body. Crooked letter, crooked letter. Oh, man. Hey, look. So, he really had to go fuck me asking for people to pay his rent. All the time. That's what makes me mad. The other day I watched the video. He was standing in the middle of the road because he was supposed to get, I think he said the room was $150 or whatever. He wanted them to cash at them. And he going to say, y'all didn't send me enough. And the stuff that I got, I was supposed to use it on the room. And it's gone. Like, you just be spending money. And you he get a disability check. He Jeez. get help from all kinds of people. He was just exposed. Um, Somebody kicked him out about uh six days ago. He got piss jugs in there, bacon, Ooh. the bones, bones, bones of the bones. He just sucked like, the marrow out the bones. That's what she said. And she's like, I'm finna clean up my house. He want to talk about somebody nasty. I'm finna tell y'all now. He always getting exposed for something. But he, they be sending him cash apps. And they be sending him, like, you know, of course, they give you all the loves and you can transfer that. But he be showing out on you, threatening to shoot himself. Before Shamar, it of. was cat. You remember cat, 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 cat the cat, girl cat, cat that looked it, that had that. Oh, cat with the eye. Yeah. She the same way. She's still getting into it. They just had something on her the you other day. Before, she, you, look, her mama said, you the one pissing in the bed. And that, she <laughs> said, so what I piss in the bed? But I'm a grown woman. You, I want you to get out of my room. <laughs> my mama thinks she could. Man, I don't like cat. I don't like cat that I already messed me up. But the stuff that she be saying, <laughs> so I, I be in the bed. That threw me, man. That threw me. 30 years old. And, but, but, oh. we as humans love to watch train wrecks. So yeah. as long as we will watch a train wreck, these people will get a bag be, as long as they willing to expose their dysfunction, exactly. as long as they willing to turn a camera on and aim it at somebody in their family, okay. knowing that they got a mental disability, okay. <laughs> what about cash that? out on them. <laughs> I'm away. Just you, just be you, and I'm gonna create as a YouTube page, and we are gonna get paid. Like to me, that's what this world has came to. And you remember the girl Shay or whatever? They, uh, I think Shay was the one who was normal. She was pregnant, and they, they was beating up on the big and then girl. She got, then she got the the, the, the dyke girlfriend. Yeah, they, yes. they had a baby too. And the police came in there like three times, and the last time they took them, and she's out of there. But like they was dogging her. Dirty. She had them two black eyes. Mm. It still was on live. Yeah, like, ain't nothing wrong with ain't me. Wrong. I'm cool. They didn't Why do nothing to me. The police messed with You just her. didn't have to black eyes last time we, we was on the camera her hair be like it be a patchy patchy she got a full beard black eyes oh that beard is crazy bra. that beard is crazy her beard look like yours she got a she got a patchy beard though. Yes. Her, she got like it's thick on this side a little bit missing then like a little bit yes. right here like but it's enough for a man you can tell they made her take the hormone pills or something she wasn't looking like that in the beginning in they the let beginning, her let herself go all the way i think they was jealous of her yeah, and she then, did have an income. They was using and abusing her. Yeah, I think they was jealous of her. And... But they would beat her, make her eat weird stuff, like dog her. Talking about, you just ate yesterday. What do you mean? That's a big woman. Not even that's a big girl. That's a big woman. What about dude with the, uh, these nuts? Oh, these nuts. You don't remember that dude with the, with the teeth? Oh, Lord. What did he say? What's the baloney? What the was his name? I don't remember his really name. Know. They, they come and go. So to me, or or the dude with the big neck. Y'all see the, the dude? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He want to be a boxer, though, didn't he? That, like, they cracked his stuff. Did the little white dude have a chiropractor. Neck. I want to go to that chiropractor. He cracked his neck. They, they, it's like y'all is using their handicaps to laugh at them. But at least as long as I give you a check, I can't get in trouble. Like, as long as I handed you some money... It's like a circus show, money like you know what I'm saying, evil. like the woman with the beard and all that. You pay you people in the back in the day used to pay money to go to the circus to see the weird but it's people. Only film now the weird humans. You know what I'm uh, saying? The, the they woman. Did. The That's, woman that, you don't remember Sarah That's, Bartman? That was the very first stripper, and she was a black lady. She they had they have her in the museum right now. Her, her Hold on, stop, body. please. You ain't never heard about the first black woman with the large booty that they made. How all of her they turned her into a, they a, measured a her museum. Lips. They measured everything. They, they have her, her whole body. She was 
she literally was a specimen, like a like they they used to put her up I on a pedestal, them. and the white people used to just look at her, mm -hmm. like scientists galore. They had her out of school. They studied her every inch of while she was living. They were studying her, and she hated it because she wasn't a slave no more. Mm -hmm. And that's and the question is now: stripper. Are they doing mm -hmm. what they used to do back then? Now, yeah. but just giving people, they just giving these women money now. So you do what you do with your booty and your thighs for us to amaze and gawk at, mm -hmm. but we're going to give you a couple thousand on Instagram. We're going to give you a couple thousand on Twitter. We'll give you a couple thousand as long as we get to gawk at you. Mm -hmm. And y'all fighting. So y'all tearing y'all beauty up. Yeah. That's what's crazy we'll give you to the me. bag. But, it, but to me, it's the same thing as her. It really is. We on the, we going to put you on display and for the world to see. But we ain't gonna let you know that we using you because we're gonna give you a couple thousand here and there. Mm -hmm. And they happy with it. And with Sarah Robin, they was paying the white man. And she knew with her contract with him, she was not supposed to have to go there. And I, to this day, they have her body in on, the display. Museum, on display. Her mm -hmm. literal mm -hmm. skin stuffed. Lord have mercy. So she still looked like full bodied and everything like that. Yeah, I can't big, believe you ain't here today. Cut. She did have they a gut because she had kids, but they got taken away. They used to have her in France because it was it was easier to do things in France. They used to have her in a little dungeon, in a little show. It was this mini little circus, and it was what was it? Nothing, nothing. I can't I can't remember the name. I'm about to but, look it up right now. But the, hey, did y'all see that Balenciaga? Did y'all see that um that Balenciaga designer that came up missing? And mm -hmm. now they think they got him on display at in Paris, uh, um in the windows in a window what? display at a Balenciaga uh store. No, this little black dude with dreads is sitting there chilling, but he don't look like a wax figure. Dude look like he is embalmed and alive, mm -hmm. and he's sitting in the window. He's been missing for like three years. The family don't know where this man at. But somebody go. went on TikTok and was like, hey, don't this mannequin look like that oh, really? designer for Balenciaga that's been missing for a couple years ago? Uh -uh. And that started to, like, now everybody like, hold up. That's not a mannequin. Like, that That looked like flesh. That, oh. So, but this dude been missing for some years. That's crazy. And they got a, a lookalike. In the no, window. but they do that because that's also in a funeral home in California. The dude did his daughter so that she could, they could see her his beauty forever. And when it be funeral, it was a bridal shop. She was supposed to get married, so he was making her wedding dress. Man, I gotta and show you a whole died. bunch of different funerals yeah, like that. Yeah, but they the got girl the is standing up at the pool table. No, but I'm saying she's still on display today as the mannequin of the store. But it's his daughter. What? Yes, in California, it's a bridal shop like the designer embalmed his daughter and she's up there she stood there for years in the wedding dress but they did used to take pictures like that how with was the that legal people. it wasn't but he said it was a mannequin but they knew like this cannot be no wax like you said you can go up to her and you like feel like it was a spirit in there like if i touch this this is about to be real scared yeah but like, she's on display see i I'm not scared of death like that. So I, I touch people in caskets. I know it's scary. I did my grandma. That's I, it. I kiss that's my grandmother it. in a casket. I claim my I grandma's my body. Mama. Yeah. I did. I yeah. did that. That was deep. It wouldn't be that. I, I'm just one of those that don't believe men should be elderly women's caretakers like that. For sure. For sure. <laughs> I think that that's a woman's job. Like when... When women get of age to where they can't defend for themselves, I don't think they should have men as they um, aids or. What if uh, it's a mom and her son? Yeah, that's different. I'm talking about a man off the street. Yeah, just I'm in, saying when she died. Like, like, no, I mean I know what you was talking about, yeah. but it just I was just saying in general. Like I our, agree with our, you because our family created like shifts. We we all came together and, and made a schedule. You got Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 8 to 12. That's what I was Then somebody say. else came in from 12 to 4. Then somebody else came in. Then somebody had the night shift. Mm -hmm. And we had and like they a lived whole, there already. So I was a driver. My cousin Ben was a driver. 
Like, so if you couldn't make it there because your car broke down, you called me and I came and took you to grandma's house. And then when you mm-hmm. needed a ride home in the morning, Uncle Ben came and he drove you home. <laughs> you know, we had a, we had a home. Like this person came over and washed her up. This person came over and did her hair. This person came and cooked. This person, she it was at home. It should be like that. You know, they're like, uh, we it should be like that. We cool, bro. We nursing home. We like they, she had to go to the nursing home because something happened for two weeks, and we all was like, "Wait, sick of that?" It was like, "Man, she got to come home." Mm-hmm. Like, they know so. they want is your money. Man, that's all it is. Cash nursing down. homes. I worked at the nursing they home. Take, man, they I take worked at Summer everything. Nursing Home. It's one of the uh, the rich people. They used to have to give sign over all their money. Hmm. To the nursing homes and they uh properties and everything yeah. like that. And if you try to fix stuff within a certain amount of time and you switch it in other people's name, they can go after that too. I think it's three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that nursing home stuff ain't what it's cracked up to be. To me, um, <laughs> funeral homes, the nursing homes, Jesus. and insurance. Those are the biggest scams. Insurance for sure. <laughs> Health insurance, car insurance. Because they're not insuring nothing. If they when it comes time to pay, they don't give you the insurance that you look pay for. Okay. Enunciate. You're back whispering again. Yeah, I wasn't even talking good. I was trying to do good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think insurance should be gave back a percentage every month if you don't get in the accident. For sure. I think I think you should get a deductible check every time, like at least every six months. You ain't getting an accident this six months. Go ahead and get some of this money back. I thought they did that. They don't do that. Some of them do. Some they of them do. don't. But I don't think it's that much. Or an incentive or something. Something. Man, I tried that progressive. Safe. And I had that. I had that snapshot thing in my car. Man, they told me when it was time to renew my insurance that my insurance went up because I had some hard breaks. I took mine's <laughs> off. I popped that thing out so fast. Man, get like me up off of this. I don't need y'all for insurance, man. Y'all tripping. Mm-hmm. I, I I I hit my brakes. I don't know about yeah, y'all. I, do it I mean, if I if something happens and I got to push my brakes hard, I'm going to push my brakes hard. Like a, a kid running down the street, a, a car, I mean, a, a squirrel, a, a cat. Uh, I'm going to hit my brakes. Some of you got some hard breaks in May. You got some hard breaks in June. You got some hard. Look at him, man. My insurance went up twice, double the, the price amount because I, I had some hard breaks. I had no nobody. accident. But I had no, I had no accident. No accident. No speeding. No, no. You talking about I hit my brakes too hard, mm-hmm. man. Progressive, you take notes. I was counting your days. Uh, count your days. Counting your days. Oh man, what what next we got to talk about? What what else I skip over, man? Mm. Quiet time. No. Quiet time. Quiet time, quiet time. Because like I said, everything was here. The code was written out, man. Now you got me off. No, you I'm just... Make it like I did it. I didn't do it. You didn't do nothing but just seeing like I did. Okay, something. how about a question then? Because you know I do the three questions. Because usually, look, let's break it down for you. Y'all know if you 3P fan, you already know. Look at him, look at this. Watch. You already know that things are labeled and we're learning. And there's words and there's things, right? Okay, so we got code was the basis of it all. The G code programming code we talked about programming last time but you know <clears throat> that's neither here nor there we're on the new topic <laughs> today okay all right so I, I, it's weird i'm telling you the energy is so weird on me like because i smoked that gas i <laughs> sat there and fired up that 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 that, 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 that mega blunt it's my oh it's my fault i can't I'm gonna deal with y'all because it's both of you making YouTube. Yeah. I mean, because if I went to 5 30 hit, y'all was like, no, let's bring it out. Then we went on 5 30 hit, y'all was I'm, on commercial. Y'all both went to commercial. Why did Because we were supposed to go to commercial. At 5 30, how did I know that? We're I don't do to I never did radio. 5 30, 5 30. Well, you both have radio experience. He don't never go with the flow. You got it too. See, I hey, look, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you was able to say that, man. Because look, she act like she don't have experience. She's been doing this for two years. And I've been doing this for seven months, eight months. Come now, how can you six. remember the pie format if she can't The remember. pie format. It's just every 15 minutes, really. 
Cause she's seven months in. And you two years well, in. Yours actually ours is well here is really like I've been minutes. doing repetitive <laughs> for a long time. Look, we had a little moment, y'all. Y'all see, this is three P's of the podcast being pure and um, unadulterated. We don't care that the camera's on. We gonna discuss oh, things right here on the spot. <laughs> we ain't go much. We ain't gonna push I'm... pause and mute and all that. We I gonna discuss the things that need to be discussed right there. Like I said, y'all growing with us as we grow. Y'all living and learning as we learn. But how, how y'all like the quality? You know what I'm saying? Before right, y'all I see could... responding, y'all like alive in the thing. Yeah, there's the good. chat live, the chat that's jumping over here, man. Right? I ain't mad. I mean, I guess, right, right. You know what now they want to talk. That's good. Cousin Let's said go. the lighting was messed up, so that's why she stopped tuning in. I got the lighting together. Go. People were saying the audio was clipping out. Look, I got the audio together. I mean, what else is it, man? What else? What's the what's the problem, man? What else is we doing? Listen. What's the questions, ma'am? Oh, the questions. Okay, cool, Uh-oh. cool, cool. The question was about she code. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> we look. She I love it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, but you were supposed to be ready. Go. She said, <laughs> <laughs> She said, oh, okay. That's Actually, cool. I was thinking about the questionable Diddy moments, and I started trying to think about a questionable Diddy, Diddy moment. Diddy do it? You know, a Diddy, questionable Diddy, Diddy, Diddy moment? Ain't no a questionable, questionable Diddy, Diddy moment Diddy to moment. me is, Diddy. we ain't party party, though, fat. Hey, Fab, where we go party? Where we go party? <laughs> Fab, hey, Fab, 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 you let me take you shopping, Daddy. Fab. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, I love when you talk to me like that, Daddy. You know, that roster dude around? Let me, see, let, me see your, let me see your swag. I see you got that Rasta gear on, yo. I know, a Rasta. Boy, bro. he's just like him, though. He's just like him. Man, did he? Did he? Did he, he, right, say did it, he say do it? Did he do it? Have you ever been swallowed? Oh. Oh, whoa. whoa. Hey, I couldn't stop saying that all week. I, I was walking around with my stomach out. I was walking around good. Have you ever been swallowed? swallowed. Have, swallowed. You swallowed. <laughs> Have you ever been swallowed? What's yours? Bro? What's yours? The steep Oh, you already know. My favorite Diddy moment. Uh, yo, uh, carry me in. You got to carry me. That's a couple of them. I don't want to do those. Gotta be you whispering. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> they clowning the fuck out of me. Ooh. Damn. This is hilarious. What's the plan? <laughs> Moment. He's been carried in. He, having to be carried in in most situations. You never seen Diddy carried in. You remember when Dave Chappelle did the uh, joke when they had, they, he just had the bodyguards carrying him in? No. You remember back oh, in the day when they used to carry that nigga? They used to really carry people. He did. He was funny in the beginning, man. He was so. He was a god. I'm old. Yeah. He was a god. <laughs> but, yeah. I remember. I remember, I remember that. That's so. Funny. Look, we was we we watched we rewatched video, the videos yesterday to have something to talk about. So we was watching the old Biggie video. What was the name of that one? Um, uh, it was uh when it was a man. Yeah, but love when you call me Big. Yeah, Bob, I can't even forget the name of the song right now. You know, I'm gassed. No, up, who but, shot you? Um. The click clack who shot your video when it was a trans yeah person. what what was the name that that so we were the who that, shot you with LL, LL Cool J, J. and he no, came no that's the second one okay so that's that's that, that same that same man person. or person was in the other video for real oh when well, my you. days are cool without you I'll oh, be hurting. Um, I love it when you call me Big Pop they had the but, house party and then, and then um that's the name that's Puffy and the jacuzzi with all the chicks. Mm-hmm. And um, the chick go to the men's bathroom or stand and up she's the standing urinal, up. And she... That's in the Who Shot Your video. No, it's not. Is it Who Shot Your? Yes. No. no, it's not. We looked it up yesterday. Um, but I can't. When we... they was laying in the bed and she went in, and all them dudes was she no was bad. standing up pissing. No, well, it, that's like one of the two scenes. dudes was around her, and she, and she was, was standing the there. And she like laughed this. You're right. They, they is out. a bad scene in that video, mm-hmm. too. Is it who shot you? Who shot you? No. Because everybody not who shot else you, was looking. It's not who shot you. Look, man, we got we to gotta figure that out. It's not who shot you, though. But, <laughs> Tell um, me big that person, that was the early 90s, right? The first. Really? And yeah. so that's like when they've, they've been Before showing. 96, I know that. <laughs> so we designer yeah. women. <laughs> has been displayed as regular women, earthborn women, 
since back then or before we just didn't know about it way before you don't right. know what that's, that's the riots creation. in new york was about what riots in new york man it, there is so many women that's how the gay rights started because they wasn't allowed it was like um what was it called the uh, so remember how <laughs> it was it was juicy <laughs> it was very juicy so remember back in the day oh, how song. you song. couldn't have um you couldn't have liquor and stuff like that it was the prohibition. same prohibition it was the same thing but it was in the late 70s early 80s they used to be in gay bars but the police would go in and raid the bars and shut everything down take people to jail for being cross dressers for being prostitutes you know what i'm saying and being transgender and stuff like that so after they had a couple riots in new york they broke that you know they took out that law mm-hmm. but it's mm. been they've been do you remember eunuchs that's the whole same thing as a eunuch this stuff has been going on since the Bible days. No, a eunuch is a when eunuch they is cut a woman. No, I mean a, a man that a, is no a eunuch. A eunuch is when they have. um the the king don't want the security guard dude to have sex with the queen, so they cut their genitals off to but he's secure not a security guard. That, he's, not necessary. he's not a security. I'm guard. the monks that are you. The yeah. They eunuchs. usually have, they're either like right hand men to the king or they are somebody that they're security. training. It's not security though, but they have a whole security. This is like a second hand. This, you're my, my other set of eyes. It's another concubine. Hands. No, it's a concubine. A no, he can't have sex with nothing if he's sold up. If they cut, if they cut you everything still have, off, you, you still pr- have no. You still have an ass. Okay, we just, I, I was trying to figure out the right thing. But that's the Whoa, whole point of Whoa, I didn't think about the that. The main thing of a eunuch was to cut that off because you cannot feel like a man. That's the whole point of wearing a dress. That's thought, where that starts from. I was they thinking want to all this time that a eunuch was the man that used to have to sit with the, the queen, but they didn't trust that he would have sex with the queen. So they, they ensure that you're not messing with he's my wife. I'm going to chop it off. He's the second queen. And nine times out of ten, he's someone that the king has trained up from a young age and that eunuch has started at it. Man, young. I got to look that up now. Look man. it up. I'm telling gotta you. I got to look that up now. You telling you me. You know this is my you, thing. You, 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 you tell look, me. Let's go. I, I, defin- I, I definitely feel everything. the argument about history. the royal court. Okay. Definitely. The history of eunuchs. This has been going on. They were the second queen. But a lot of times, the eunuch that, and that would be like, watch Woman King. They had more power than the queen because there would be seven, eight queens. You feel what I'm saying? He trusts that man more than the actual queens. Lord, man, you, you learn something every day. History. You learn something every day, and I'm 50 years old, and I never knew that the eunuch. <laughs> I got to look that up. I just can't believe that, man. They so can't, me, sma- they can't smash me... the queen. They ain't got it. Oh, man. I thought. I promise you, I just thought that they cut his stuff off. You won't get no piece of my meat. You won't. You won't be over there humping on my girl when I'm gone out there no, out in the forest. No, that's to fully emasculate them. And they were there. A lot of their concentration was on religious and like being their their next. Like, can I trust you? What should I do? Type. They were there to serve them. Get the queen ready. Talk to her. Get her head straight. Mm-hmm. Tell her what she need to do. Mm-hmm. <sighs> You yes, learn something see. new, man. I promise you, man. I think a eunuch, because I'm not on YouTube. A eunuch is a male that is part of the concubine for the king. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, like I'm mind blown, man. I'm mind blown. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this. I, was I really, head I, really I, I just, I really, it, it just. I need to get on YouTube, and this is playing with me. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I'm I'm about to give up on your computer. I don't know what. I, I, girl, I'm kind of. I'm sorry. Hey, that's what happened. I thought it was just me. I know because I just, no, I just, I no, because I just want to go on YouTube. Like that's I don't know what. YouTube. This, what is this? This is Bing. This is Bing. Microsoft. And Bing. I can't get to YouTube. Is it over there in the corner? Nope, because that's a shopping cart. I don't know you what's going on. What Look, yeah, but I need you to the too. Next window. Look, the twenty versus boots right there. That gotta be YouTube. Look, I don't know what just happened, yeah, y'all. That, that but, uh, 
Yeah, no. see, look. Yeah, yeah, look, 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 look. That is, you know. No, it's under video. It's but it's got his name on there. It's in oh. Bing. Yeah. On to the next. We gotta um, go, man. And then, oh yeah, what, you want to do the words? What well, the questions? Why keep the code? Yeah. When we when we talk about code, but if you know what code is, the question was why keep code? Save your life. Amen. Oh. <laughs> Kaepernick on it. <laughs> You said, yes, why real. keep the code? Should you keep a code if the G Ms. code? Miss Megan said, keep, save your life. And I, I feel mean, her on that because. I, I hate to say it, in this day and age, there isn't a code. I know. So, um, with script changing every day, why keep the code? The code, um, the code left years ago. Um, people make up the rules as they go. Um, things that you thought were cold isn't cold any longer. They switching up the code, as I would say. Um, it used to be loyalty was the code that's gone. Um, job voice, damn. Uh, to me, the young dudes out here is all snakes. They mm -hmm. demons, they monsters, they slimes. Time and love I to mean, tell you about it. the so, words that they describe themselves with let you know what they think yeah. about cold. A snake has no cold. Um, a demon has no cold. Slime is what? What? What is it? We grew up to slime being what? Liquid. Like, Ew. Ugh, <laughs> like, Liquid. You know what I'm saying? Like it, that the ooze. It, it, you know what I'm saying? What? The slime wasn't nothing we wanted to it was they made it into a toy to play with as we to, as a joke but really we grew up as slime being something you wanted to stay away from uh -huh. slime wasn't nothing you hung out with you just didn't go pick up slime <laughs> like you know what I'm saying you, I don't do it not for the kids you know what I'm saying but today's age you know what I'm saying that's my slime mm -mm. that's yeah, my he gonna slime. do some slick it... that's the back dodo now, now, and I'm she able to do that. Yeah, the back door is in. Don't nobody got no morals or nothing. The back door, mm -hmm. they were there, there, okay. there, there, man. They once they find out where the bag at, man, they kick that back door in, man. They don't care about that. I mean, it's it's just the way it is. There's no loyalty. There is no substance to nothing that they do because everybody want what somebody else got without putting no work in. Right. Mm -hmm. where's, where's the intake? I'm gonna where's take the, it. Actual work, the contingency, the commitment. So that's what I think about the code. I think the code been going a long time ago. I still live by the code because I'm old. I'm a dinosaur. I only know the way that I know, and I think that they should stick to it. But once I see that you don't play by the code and you have no rules, I know how to play with you. Come on. I mean, but if I'm dealing with a motherfucker that know how to. So that means accordingly, you act. Accordingly. Yeah, you gotta play accordingly <laughs> with these doubt. people, man. Right? Like you can't just give people the benefit of the doubt no more mm -hmm. because that cold. Never that. What they say it now, love to get you killed. Mm -hmm. Love to get you killed. But yeah, if you like ain't you functioning on something, they is fun they function worse. on demon time. <laughs> you said because they claim no morals. Them, like, claim Damn, my demon time is something totally different. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, you you must get mean to know. You told your demon time is anger. No, no. they, they talking no, about no, like no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Jesus. Okay, no. Okay, no, no, well, no. next question. <laughs> we are not even gonna talk about demon time. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't, I don't like the lingo. Cause at the end of the day, I know you you bad, but my demon time is a whole other thing. Oh, oh, snap, snap food. Is the code is you said so basically I think you answered this next one. I said was the code necessary. Yeah. You say it's Yeah, I mean the code gonna always be necessary. You just gotta know how to Rubik's Cube the code. Sometimes you gotta turn them colors until they fit. You gotta know who you're dealing with. You gotta be able to turn that square, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's you can be on the square, but everybody's square might not have the same color. <laughs> Come on. Everybody's section in the square might not be on the same color as the rest of us. But they on that side with a faking. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I look at it. Like 
Yeah. Got her phone, nice. Okay. So. Sorry, but. Oh, we rocking, man. Right now, right now we the answer to the code. You know what I'm saying? We the, the code necessary. The answer... Do we need to stick to the code? We answered all the questions. Right now, and after that, we go to what? The word game. Weird words. Weird words. Just okay. Uh, well, you know we give you five weird words if we got time for it. We already we got plenty of time. We just did. Meaning we'll check the watch. How about that? Don't even talk about it. Let's be about it. Um, five words. Cause I'm, oh, I'm hot to death apparently. Five <laughs> words with me. <laughs> we gonna own it. We gonna own it and work with it. Five weird words. I give you five words. I ask you what they sound like to you. You tell me the meaning. I tell you the actual meaning. So we'll start with the first one. Pertinacious. We need to spell it. Pertinacious. P e r t i n a c i o u s. Pertinacious in a sentence, please. She's just so pertinacious when it comes to certain subjects. A butt crack. <laughs> a butt crack. You vibe and really vibe. You vibe. vibe trying to tell you the word. Um. Pertinacious. Nice a lot. It's pertinacious. It's so pertinacious. A noise. <clears throat> Unyielding. Unyielding. And it, it says the most of the word someone who is obstinate and unyielding, like not moving, like it's just stubborn. Yeah, for sure. I think it's the word obstinate. It means no. 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 <laughs> that means right. no. I'm not moving on. Like, I'm, I'm standing on it, ten toes down. I'm, I'm. That's what I'm on. Okay, so you're very pertinacious on just being. But ten toes down, pertinacious. Oh. Oh my gosh. Y'all learning with us? I hope y'all learning with us. What's the second word, ma'am? Second word, people. Eloquence. Nobody's telling me their meaning. Oh, I was eloquence I or eloquent. He oh, here. Eloquence. Uh-uh, for that one. But this one, eloquence. She has stumped me when she said her thing, and I was so That's mind boggled at what she said that I didn't chime in. So you used to hear me. <sighs> What in the world? I the she whole... just caught me. She right. Oh, she she right. High high. but I caught it. She forgot I answered. I gave her three answers. She did. Like, you didn't give me yours. She said nobody. <laughs> yeah, we might not be able to smoke like that. <laughs> uh, the oh, only one. Only one. Only one. Only one. <laughs> that is hilarious. Can I get that word a sentence? That word a sentence, please. Eloquence. Eloquence is that's the word. Eloquence. T or C. E. Q. But how does it end? Quince or quince? C-C-E. Eloquence. Being that- eloquent. Being fabulous. Being Because we went over glorious. opulent. Yes. Eloquent. Which is also in the same line with eloquence. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was not really eloquent, Mom. Okay, I'm sorry. I get it. The big, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know, because. Regal, like being of royalty, eloquence, 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 and elegant. 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 You know what I'm? I'm thinking. But the quince is a whole different word. It's like of being of. Bougie to beautify. Beautifully okay. express oneself. Okay, really see? Be beautifully express Eloquence. oneself. Because you see how it made you feel? You see it I'm makes saying? you feel. It it's is. royalty. It's like, hmm, it makes you want to get a posture. Yes. I'm <laughs> just straight up. I'm just straight up. I can't even it. my back. To, to tit off a bit. Yes. You know? What's tit up? Say with your child. <laughs> get a tit off. How you doing? <laughs> yes. I'm it's good. It gives. It gives. Word three. Parapateric. That's with a P. P E R I, P A T E R I C. Parapateric. <laughs> parapateric. A parapateric. So para mean the halfway. Para? Yeah, paraplegic. You can't. It don't work. 
So whatever Ooh. it is, they can't walk. So Paris, so what is Pateris? Ooh. Is it a pat- Break it down, my mom. I don't know, but I'm thinking pituitary gland. I'm thinking patootie. A thinking dog gland. that don't bark. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. That dog don't bark. It's not, not the dog is peripateric. He's, he's more paraplegic. <laughs> 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 no, it's peripateric. It says a nomad. That's what I was hitting. You was talking about staying still, nowhere. No Period. Mad. Nomad. Someone who travels from place to place. Okay, so they're very peripatetic. They go from here to here to here to here. That ain't me. That ain't me. Man. I, be in I am places. stumped today. I can't believe my mind ain't even quick with it today. I ain't. But that pateric, that ain't nowhere near our vocabulary. We're not going to use pateric in a sentence too much. Didn't more. you think pituitary gland? Pateric, Would yeah. you spit on me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. She said, what you? <laughs> you guys didn't realize it's going to be interpreted a couple of weeks, okay? Oh, man. Uh, the other one, we should know this one. Number four, sozzled. They just it's like feel like white people words. Sozzled. Um, persuasion words, we ain't going to say it like that. He used she it a sentence. Re- I saw her at the bar last night. She was sozzled. Drunk. Then I'm Incoherent. In other words, sloppy. Waking up sloppy. Righty, righty, yeah. We waking up sloppy. That's that's a Kayla. He got the head I say. He got the head I say. Oh, man. And the last one, you know, guess what? We started doing the phobias. So this one is cute. A bibliophobia. We did this one. Right? What was it? Okay, so we should know what it is then, because I don't think we did. If we yeah, did, the biblophobia I mean... was the study of the Bible. No, 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 no. Nope. We thought it was the Bible, but something about a library, because biblioteca is a library in Spanish. I love how you break things down. You go there. Well, we had this when we were in the studio. They be talking. What's the root of the word? Yes. Is this... Something about. <laughs> was it um? your mark not not leaving your mark on the world or something like that no oh, what was it man you i could have swore it was a, i could have swore it was a study of the bible i remember this one no because that's what i said i remember it so I that's remember what stuck it. in my head then when you said that so what's the answer uh, you know i feel bad for the uh the bibliophobia as if this world burnt down like just yeah, I don't know. I said the same running thing last time. Fear of running out of things to read. Oh, what? That's why I say I don't think we went off pretty far. What? I don't know that the word seems familiar, but the f- definition was not familiar. No, because it was something else like the fear of not leaving your mark on the world type. But you was right for fear of running out. Yeah, so that's not like a world ending. <laughs> I remember we did something. If it wasn't that word, it was so close. It was so close. We be trying to break these words down because she picked some good ones that we would never come across. So look I mean, at him, man. Never. We didn't push two hours out of this segment because <laughs> like we uh, messed around and uh, had a smoke session <laughs> during the uh, episode. I hope you guys was entertained, but it's not over with. Y'all know what we do at the end of this day. We normally go to the uh hey hold on I had a thing. so we go Ooh. from the word game that we have a use we usually pay some bills but we are y'all know what it is it's smoke screen <laughs> films you know what I'm saying? it ain't nothing else to be said but we gonna end this show off we've been over two hours but we got to get the quote in we have to make sure we leave here on a good note Did we you leave your quote you leave my quote, quote? i don't have a quote before. I don't have a quote. If I was to give you a quote, it would be a quote from my Uncle Bug. Who you with? Who you with? Oh, that's the quote. Who you with? Who you with? <laughs> Who you with? <laughs> Who you with? <laughs> that's it, man. Let's Who you go. with? Hey, y'all know. rocking with three P's in a podcast or not, man. I see we had a nice uh, full 
chat zone today. It, it kind of felt good to see y'all participating with us, talking back. We was um, zoned out. We really didn't talk back to y'all. We tried to. I was reading it. I was reading as we was going, but I was trying to respond and let y'all know we was reading it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad y'all participated. You know what I'm saying? Charlie, yo. You know what I'm saying? Fats. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at y'all. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all. Y'all, uh, <laughs> the other... The, other part of three P's in the podcast, you know, another extension of smoke screen films, you know what I'm saying? They up there in the land. At least they not spectators. They are conversation. Right, with family. Us. Wait a minute, they uh, uh what you call them? Subscribers. Subscribers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop smoke screen films, subscribers. subscribers, you know what I'm saying? They see it, they logged in, they tuned in. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make this stuff work. I'm glad that Thank these two hours went by so fast. It was a nice thing. we never really done this before. Just let it ride. we be trying to stick to the format, but we don't have to do that. We're not in the school no more. We actually in our own zone. We can do what we want to do. We're not ran out. We're not nobody telling us, hey, time limit. What were you guys talking about in there? Ah, right? okay? that used to be the funniest. What was what was y'all laughing so hard about? Why don't y'all tune in and watch and listen to y'all with no and quit trying to? Having fun. We do. Flexing the ability. The podcast, man. Episode G code. Stick to the code, or do you go outside of the code? How do you live your life? What is the way? You stand ten toes down. Are you snaking it? Are you <laughs> the time? Are you slime? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's your title out here? You a gentleman? You stand up? Okay, you're, man, you I mean, it. what are you, Be man? No <laughs> ah, man? I finally gave a quote after how many episodes? I ain't never That's gave like, a quote. No, who are you with? Who are you with? The Uncle Z, Bob, baby. The so Z, great. baby. Man. Thank y'all for tuning in, and we out of here, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I do that, let's send this uh, camera around and let everybody get a one-two to slide up out of here. We're going to start with the person on the left of me. Y'all want to see me? He's talking about me. He's talking about Miss Mystique. Talking to the microphone. Hi. It's me, Mystique. You can find me uh, if you're looking for me properly, you already know. I'm on Instagram. It's the mood looking baby. Check me out. Facebook is the government, but you know, we'll work with that one. Miss Megan. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your girl, Megan Way J. That's M A Y G A N, capital W A, capital Y. And the J is for juicy because we always keep it juicy for you, no matter where we are. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. YouTube, everything's coming soon on there. You know, we in this three piece. Catch us on Sunday for the what is it? The St. Patty's Day situation yeah, at Silk yeah, at yeah. three to seven. We about to turn up. Yeah. Oh, have a couple drinks. I think that's why I've been drinking so much because it's about to be St. Patty's Day. I got a pre it's a pre Irish pre game. Like, I I got Irish and Scottish yeah. in me. I did my twenty three in me. Don't play with it. See, that's why. Um, pre gaming. You said you got Irish and we Scottish. Do. In you, we man. do. Our last name is Car Starfish. Oh, I ain't knocking you, man. Everybody got man. And we are a mixture of all things. We just don't know it, man. They don't Believe. know what nobody is. I'm a believer that it was all one continent in the beginning, and oh, then all of a sudden it split yeah. apart. So I think we were separated through the sun coloring us. Other than that, we are all the same. Mm-hmm. We all got the same flesh, bones, and same. brains, and intestines, and digging balls, and mm-hmm. reproduction orders. And, I, I mean, we all got the same everything. So we just, I mean, yeah, we got different things in our DNA, but the majority of everything is the same. But now, with that being said, we out of this juke joint, man. This smoke screen fails. Three P's in the podcast, and Bye. we out, man. Y'all know where to find me, and I ain't about to give it to y'all. I I S M O K E S C R E E S L I L M D. Ah, look, you made a mistake. V. Look, look, that's me. That's me. That's me. I made a mistake. I need you. Since you're going to do it, can you do it the correct way, ma'am? S M O K E S C R E E N S I L M C V.
Gotta use the Z. Now look. <laughs> S-M-O-K-E, S-C-R-E-E-N-F-I-L-M-Z. And you got to say the Z, baby. Baby. Z is got to flow out of his mouth. Z. Ah, <laughs> and we out of here, man. Thank you guys for tuning in episode 34. Ah, man.